Oh, what up, Chava? Hey, Maribel. Listen to my voice, yo. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> How about it? Um, how's the setup? Can you see like both the, the TV and me? Yeah, AG, voice is back. La 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 la. I led a, uh, a four hour certification for Fight and Flow yesterday, which is why it was a little tough to stream. And uh, yeah, <laughs> by the end of the four hours, I was like, I can't talk anymore. And then I had that podcast interview too. But I got a good night's sleep last night. I needed it. Um, I really hope uh, you guys remember that guy Poopy Ass in chat. His name's Wyatt in real life. Yeah, I've been on it. Lots of stress in the voice. Yeah, Tom, you you know your your music production too. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to chill out a little bit and just like game over the holidays for a while. <laughs> like it's been way too much work for this event. They paid me today though. Got paid. I haven't seen it hit my bank account yet, but they confirmed that they, uh, they sent it. They wired it. So hell yeah. Uh, and that helps us buy things like the GPU that helps us pay rent. <laughs> that helps us do a lot of things. So I'm pumped about that. Um, so while people file in, I'm gonna play this. Uh, I'm gonna play Fox real quick. I think I have to beat the hand with everyone. Is that how this works? With only like five lives? Or just like get his damage. He's not doing anything. What's up, chosen one? You just came into the Discord, right? You want a chess box? Bye. All right, one down. Good job, team. Can you guys see that okay? Is it working? Chosen one, do you have any uh, <coughs> chess or martial art experience? <coughs> Just a bunch of Yoshis. I, I guess I'm just gonna like grab all these and throw them, right? Is that all those are gonna work? Cause they like, they're really easy to beat. Yeah, it's just like a throw thing. I can't, what are you saying? Oh, you need both monitors. Yeah, what's, what's Love He loves watching something, right? He's watching some like prank thing or... I was watching that for a second. Maybe I'll just get this star thing. Okay, that seems like a good idea. This is pretty boring. Did I pick like a wrong difficulty or something? This is like way too easy. Or is that just a level? Just like how to finish people? Or what? How many do I have left? Two? Last one, okay. Well, I was watching a dating show. Whoa, okay. Currently 6'4", 255. That's, that's a big boy, okay. Box for a few years, but having it in about six years, 900 rate level chess. Okay, cool. Um, I would say get back in the boxing gym for sure. And do your thing like with cardio and whatever else, like get in, in road work shape and then play chess every day. Get on chess.com, do puzzles. If you haven't already, can someone put a, can, can someone do exclamation point chess in chat? And, um, and let's, get, let's get chosen one into our chess club. Okay, Fox, enough. So 
See ya. Um, just exclamation point chess, I think. Do we have that one? Yeah, there we go. I don't have the upgrade link yet, but when you get that, I think maybe you get a uh, maybe you get a discount on premium, or maybe it just supports the channel. Whatever it is, it helps. One of one or both of us. <laughs> Alright, sit that. Can I like pause and see the whole thing? Yeah, I can. Okay. Hmm. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that one. Maybe I'm supposed to jump from this? Pray, nice t-shirt, <laughs> you noticed? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> I don't know if this helps me either, though. Um, I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. No! I guess I got pretty close from that big one. Oh my god, come on! It's right there. Oh, what? Okay, I don't think that's it. And I only have five seconds. Failure. What? Pray? Oh, Zippo's gifted, dude. Zippo's. Out to an early lead with three. Thanks, dude. Thanks for gifting to Chosen. Chosen, give uh, Zippo's a little gratitude. We're all about generosity and grat gratitude in this chat. That's what we celebrate. Yeah, Matt Cat Hearts in the chat. Uh oh. So is Kirby my teammate or what's going on here? Do I have to kill everyone? Why are they so terrible? send you a um, a little document that has like an overview of some chess boxing exercises you can do and stuff like that. So I usually main Pikachu in this game because Pikachu fucking rocks.
think I'm just stuck down there if I get that, actually. It's a really dangerous map to get it on. For that exact reason. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Chosen, you got a sub from Zippos. And, uh, and yeah, let me know in Discord. I think I put it in Discord somewhere. Um, actually, will Mod, if Kyle's here or anyone else, will Mod create a chess boxing channel for Discord? I think that's important. We're probably going to need that. So is this free-for-all? What's going on? Oh, we just got to kill this, this big... Wow, did he already die? Wow, that doesn't stop him from charging? I thought it did. Wow, he almost hit me with that. <laughs> Alright, we need to get him off the edge. Can do that only Kyle can do it okay all right I'll figure it out pray it's lunch break where do you live pray are you in Hawaii bruh RS Rambe oh like chess bra chess bra we love the chess bra oh dinner break that makes sense Um, I don't know what no miss means or jackpot, but I got them. All right, I get on the platforms. Oh no! Son of a bitch. Just today, got my actual voice back. I still feel a little bit going on, but I'm on my way back. Um, thought about putting chat on screen would make VODs better, I think. Okay, how do I do that? Yeah, I think it would be, too. And that's how Ludwig does it. So, he's, he's pretty smart. That guy's pretty smart. He's on to something. Uh, what did AG say? So y'all know what? Huh. What? Oh, Beardy Ginger. What did it, what do you call it? Supper. Lupper or Sunch? <laughs> I'm gonna go to Leonard Lupper. These are fun names. I'm a big brunch fan. I still have five lives, y'all. And now I just kill a bunch of Kirby's? These guys suck. Wait, I kind of wanted that guy to shoot it at me so I can use my down B. 
that shoots the thing back at him. Oh my gosh, I have some fun updates for you guys too. As soon as I get, like, I'll get in between games and we'll switch over to the gym and I'll tell you some updates. I have two awesome calls today to improve the stream. We're getting some cool partners, guys. <laughs> I'm so pumped. I definitely didn't get as many like followers, subscribers, etc. as I thought I would from the chess boxing thing. But there's a lot of cool partners coming in, which I think like lays the foundation for the stream getting a lot better, which will attract more people, I think. I'm pretty pumped about. What's up, Einstein? -y? Are we gonna are we gonna argue between who was it, Einstein and Apple fell on the head of Who's Gravity? How am I blanking on this? Um, who are you arguing with? That other stream. I, Newton, there we go. <laughs> Newton, Newton. Your setup looks cool. Oh, thanks. Uh, this is just in my living room. I'll give you a little tour here in a second. Um, and then I'll give you the updates too. Yeah, Newton's it. Oh, I'm gonna be able to blast Samus right back with, uh... well, I should just let him charge it. Go ahead and charge it, bro. It's okay, you can charge it. What? How did that hit me? I was doing it. He has a really good upbeat. Cozy stream, you know it. You still alive, bro? Oh, ouch. See ya. Killed himself with his own level. Nightbot, the stream's been updated to Super Smash Bros. Yeah. <laughs> I have no rival. Matt is an energy drink. Is this a new update? No, this is, uh, this is kombucha. There's no energy. No energy to be had, just some bubbles. Chess boxing channel made. You're the man, Kyle. Thanks. And did you just get here? Hi. <laughs> All right, I'm about to finish off Fox. I only have one level left. And then we're gonna get into the boxing and the updates. Sweet, how's work today, Kyle? Metal Mario. Um, can I grab him, please? What is going on? Also, can I set a difficulty here? Like, what's going on? Why can't I? Why is it so easy? And why is he just like pacing and eating my shots? God. Yes, please. Come here. <laughs> Good luck, bro. <laughs> Good, just bitch with any of your stuff. I'll be back in five, gotta take Otis out. Okay, that's probably when I'll go to the boxing thing. Nook, FaZe, Matt. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll talk about FaZe. We'll talk about FaZe. I really like my friend at FaZe, Eric. But I'm undecided on whether I would join FaZe, even if they offered me something, which they haven't offered me anything yet. Oh, ow. I'm fast as fuck. I'm fast as fuck. Have you guys uh, seen that TikTok? Like the dog. Can't catch me. Alright, that was easy. I'm fuss as fuck, boy. Yeah, that's right. No, I think that's what I would call myself, Phase Matador. I also think we're gonna you know how how uh, Ludwig has mogul mail? I think we're gonna do like Matador mail. 
or Matador moves, or that be like the brand. I think I'm gonna keep my name moving with Matt, and I think I'm gonna you like be a have like a brand that's Matador because it has backstory. You guys know it, like the Easter egg kind of behind it. I think it's gonna be Matador. Let me know what you think about that. What's going on with these guys? Why are they all like polygons? Get out of here. Get him, Charizard. Charizard's my boy. <laughs> See ya. Matador or Matador? I don't know yet. Um, maybe just the regular spelling of it? I don't know. What do you think it should be? Should it be my name? Or should it be the regular spelling? Because I think... Like, a lot of, like, Matador, like, tags are already taken with both spellings. I've, I've checked. But not a lot of the, uh, like, URLs are. Like, I think I can get matador.gg. Oh, they're sharing my name. That's right. I'm Fox. One T or two T's? What do we think? What's up, Aspector? Welcome. Tia, you shouldn't have. Yeah, Ludwig's live. I understand watching Ludwig. Ludwig's entertaining. Ludwig's why I exist. Uh, but I'm glad you guys are hanging out with me too. You do lurk, whatever. Um, okay, I'm taking on the hand, and then I'm going boxing. This is the final level for Fox. I'm just trying to make it through with every character, so I unlock the other characters. It's kind of sad that I haven't done that on this game, but I got the 764, like, maybe a year ago, maybe a little less. I forget, like, what, um, okay. Shoot it back at him? Come on. What? Three of them?
Close. Got him. Let's box. Um, choosing one, uh, chosen one. It was the goat of gifting for the last two weeks, I think. Zippos, you won last week, right? Um, Zippos, Zippos twelve. Zippos is who to thank. Ah, uh, yeah, we beat the hand. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think we need to watch all this. I haven't beaten one in a while, but. What? Chosen one? Give it a ginger mic. Pan it forward. That's what we like to see. That's what I'm talking about. Chosen one. I'm about to box too. Yo, also Matt Cat Hearts in the chat for chosen one. New to chat, getting gifted a sub and paying it forward to Ginger Mike. I don't know if Ginger Mike is here, but Ginger Mike, welcome to the movers officially. And a big grateful welcome to Chosen One. Hell yeah. Alright, um, let's, let's get a little mute on this so we don't hear it from the other room. Glad we got a victory. Are, are they gonna, I'm just worried that they're, that they're gonna do like the new challenger approaches kind of thing. Is that how I earn the new player or what? How does this work? Yeah, okay, all right, I gotta beat Jigglypuff real quick, okay. We're gonna get a new character, guys. Free hits, what are you gonna do about it, Jiggly? Get in there. Get messed up by Polygon. You already dead? Fuck you, Jigglypuff. Shrimp or beef or veggie? Let's do shrimp, please. Kendall is bringing me pho. What, what a queen. What a legend. All right, let's do this. Um, I can now pick Jigglypuff. Look at that, team. Look at that. Look at Jigglypuff over here. Sweet. All right, we'll be back. Let's go box a little bit. We are going to learn how to jab today. We're going to be jabbing. And I'm going to be doing like a little, uh, I guess, progression series through boxing. So I think that'll be fun for everyone involved. I think I'll love that. I think you guys will like it. We're going to talk about some boxing technique today. Is that a good level? What are we thinking? Maybe, maybe a little bit more down so you can see my feet. <laughs> cool. Um, okay, so one of the updates. You ready? One of the updates. This boxing brand is called Sting. They also did my, uh, they gave me my heavy bag. So they used to sponsor, um, or they still do sponsor, another similar charity boxing event, a brawl for a call called Haymakers for Hope. And it's where uh, Ludwig got all of the boxing equipment for the event. So if you saw like half the fighters were fighting in these exact gloves. These are actually competition gloves from the event. And one of the updates is all of the competition gear got donated to Brawl for a Cause, which means we get to use uh, and give away the stuff that wasn't used for the event. They're just like extras that we had. So that's like helmets, girdles, and some of the gloves weren't even touched. And then the competition gloves... I wrote a little note inside each one of who used them. And we're going to auction them off. So you can actually like buy the gloves that Churdleys use in the fight just once. 
So like there might be a little churly sweat in them, but they're actually like used in the mogul chess boxing event. How hype is that? Is that cool? You like it? And then any anything from uh, people like bidding on the gloves is going to be donated to Brawl for a Cause to do a new event that I'm going to announce soon. But we're doing our first live event through the stream via Brawl for a Cause. How sick is that? That's dope. That's dope. That's cool. Holy moly. Holy moly's right. Okay, let's learn how to jab. Cool. So, um, jab. Uh, a lot of people have like heard the term, but I not might not know what it is. So jab is whatever hand is leading. What whatever hand this is that is in front, a jab is just a straight shot with your lead hand. Okay. So if I'm a regular, my left is forward, but my left punch is called a jab. If I'm southpaw, my right's forward, my right straight is called a jab. Okay, so you've heard jab, boom, there it is. So whatever's closest, you throw um, straight out, straight back. Okay? Uh, for a second, I thought you meant Hayabasa gloves. I want to, uh, I want to pair the Hayabasa so bad. They're, they're a really good brand too. Uh, but no, I'm st I'm Sting all the way. Sting is what they use in the Olympics too. These are actually the exact model of boxing gloves that they use in the Olympics, which is why we bought them for the event. We wanted to do everything as big and as good as we could. But I can't watch this with full attention. It's supposed to be uploaded to YouTube. I hope it will be uploaded to YouTube. Sure, we'll upload it to YouTube. Okay. So um, when we think about a jab, we think about a few things. First, um, it's a setup shot for everything else, okay? So you usually throw a jab before you throw a cross. You throw a jab before you throw a lead hook. You throw a jab to elicit a reaction to set up another combination or whatever, okay? So a jab is a setup shot. It's not like a knockout shot. That's not to say that some people don't have good enough jabs to like knock someone out, but it is to say that it isn't, it isn't usual. It's not typical. Um, by the way, <laughs> the reason I'm doing this is Sunday night got me so excited to get into boxing again. Um, like I hadn't boxed in a long time because I was letting my left wrist heal. And I watched everyone do it and I trained with some of the fighters a little bit. I was like, <laughs> like fuck it, like I'm back. I'm getting back in. We're probably gonna do a stream at my boxing gym in Atlanta called the Tater Boxing, um, which will be super fun. So I'm excited for that. Uh, he makes this all look so easy and natural. Well, I, you know, that's just like a decade of reps. If, if you do anything enough times, it's going to look easy and natural because your body's just used to doing it. Okay. So next up, um, jabs are distance finders. Finders. Okay. So you saw uh, in, in the event how much it matters when you're a lot longer than your opponent or figuring out about how far away your opponent is so you can hit and then get back out of range or hit and then get in range so they can't use their, their shot at, at maximum power. So um, it's a distance finder. I throw jabs, I don't have to hit every one. I'm just seeing about how far I am away I am so that then I can kind of leap in and, and throw a shot. Make sense? Single arm southpaw is insane. I don't have that coordination. I'm really only doing southpaw so I can like open up towards you guys. I usually fight regular. So that's usually, usually my jab. God, that feels good. All right, I'm getting a little carried away. <laughs> All right. Um, so you can do a couple things with a jab uh, in terms of like targeting. So you can target. Um, you can hurt the head. Most people think of like boxing, you like punching someone else in the head, right? So I'm punching about head level, straight on, straight back to my guard. You can also punch the body. So I, I can lower my level, throw the body, and get back out. I can also throw my opponent's guard. Sometimes I throw right at the guard in order to bring the guard together in front so that I can come back around with a lead hook or I can throw a body shot. So I'm just getting them to react to something up top. I'm not actually trying to land this shot. I'm just trying to get the guard like here. And then pop, pop, pop. Or pop, 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 pop. 
And if you think about it, like if, if I was receiving those, here comes the jab, I block, right? And then here comes the hook. So my guard isn't able to beat back uh, the punch to my ear. So the hook lands after the jab out in front. So it's like block the jab, take the hook. Is it thinking with a jab hook? Enough for now. <laughs> Do I can. Hope you're feeling better. Did a ju dunk jump truck drive by? I don't know. Did one? Are you talking about my ass? <laughs> okay. Um, I was about to break a sweat, so we're gonna go back to smash now, and then we'll go back to boxing. So that was the first update about the stream. How cool is that? We get all the gloves from the event, and we get to donate them, uh, either for kids to use, for future competitors and brawl for a cause to use, or for ones that could go for a lot of money, potentially, if people wanna buy them from the event, then we can do it that way. What's up, Sunfish? Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, the commentary was so fun. And, um, and yeah, I'm glad you liked the event. Uh, we are doing a little Super Smash Bros on N64. I'm gonna be playing more Smash Melee. So one of the other updates I have for stream is I'm gonna be teaming up with Toussaint, who is the winner of the very first match. He's a Jigglypuff player in Melee, and he's interested in doing more boxing. So he's going to teach me Super Smash Bros. I'm going to teach him boxing. And then I'm probably going to try to do that with other people from the event. So I'll probably like travel to San Francisco, do it with Toph. Travel to LA, do it with Hugo. Travel wherever and do it with whoever. Yo, Tom! <laughs> Gift into Sunfish. We love to see it. Sunfish, give a little gratitude to Tom. Tom... Showing, they setting the example with generosity. We got, uh, what, that's three gifts on the day. Zippos to Chosen, Chosen, uh, who, who did Chosen give it to? Ginger Mike, I think. Yeah, I think it was Ginger Mike. And then, uh, and then Tom to Sunfish. Thanks, guys. All right, let's, uh, let's blow through this with Jigglypuff, right? Not Jigglypuff, with, uh, with Pikachu. We're gonna crush some Pikachu. Look at that, Sunfish! You get all the emotes. The emotes were made by the amazing and super talented uh, the AG Design, one of our mods. And you can also check out AG's uh, hard work in our merch store. We just got merch. It launched during the event. We already have a few people that bought stuff. I know Tia bought something. A few other people did. Um, so if you wanna check that out, support the stream and support AG. There you go. Check it out. Um, AG, do you want to put the, the merch store in there so they can check it out? Check out your other work? My order shipped today. I'm so hyped. Yeah, I saw that to you. Also, they, they gave me the option to like do thank you videos for the merch, but I haven't figured out how to record it yet. So... Tia, I owe you a, uh, a thank you video. And then a few other people bought stuff too. But I didn't recognize their name like I recognize yours, Tia. Like, obviously everyone has like different Twitch names. So if, you, if you're one of the other people that bought something, can you tell me? So I knew who, who, who to thank. I guess I have your like real name, but I don't have like your, oh, that's annoying. Why are they running away? Come here. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead.
Isn't it clean? I love that logo, Edgy. It's cool. Um, Ag, if you look on the um, if you look on the chess club exclamation point chess, you see how it's like dark. I don't know if it's just me for chess.com if it's dark, but like the black doesn't really show up. Do you think that there's a way to do the um, the logo with white where black is and still keep the red? You see what I'm talking about on the chess.com thing? How like the black blends in with like a black background? Yeah, I was considering inverting color. Awesome. Yeah, I think white, black, and red are kind of our colors by default. It would help with black clothes for sure. I prefer to wear black like hoodies and stuff, so. Dick. Glenn's here. Alright, let me kill Fox and then go pick up Glenn. Kill Fox <laughs> and go pick up Glenn. smash but oh, uh, it's right here you can wave oh. Glenn Grokus from chat um, yeah sit down uh, we were just talking about like uh, this guy AG design is a graphic designer okay and he's designed like most of our emo emotes like all these little cats um, and like Jay Chan and him did some of these and then he just did merch. Uh, AJ, did you put it in the chat? Oh, uh, no, that's it. There we go. So we designed all this stuff too, which launched on uh, on the day of that chess boxing event. Oh, how'd that go? Isn't it like Modern Warfare 2 kind of vibes? The, yeah, the Modern, Modern, Modern Warfare Matt. Is that <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you did well. Well, it was crazy. It. Uh, I saw the. I saw the post. Um, I mean, seven thousand people live. Uh, over three hundred thousand, like concurrent, uh, yeah. live viewers on on YouTube. It made it the the uh, largest live event streamed on YouTube, and it broke his Ludwig's uh, concurrent live viewership record by like over a hundred thousand. So. Crazy. I don't know whether but he'd be happy about that or, or pissed that it was because of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he was, it, no, he's, he's, like, oh, it wasn't me. No, either. I know, I know. Um, but, like, thinking about chess boxing, like, who would have thunk it, right? <laughs> I was talking to, 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 so, like, the CEO of Chess.com was there, Danny Wrench, and we, like, did some chess boxing content together oh, chess. and got to know each other. Chess my buddy, Michael Bolston, that mm -hmm. I was trying to get you to um, connect with on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Maestro, MJ3, whatever. Mm -hmm. He's huge at Valorant, CSGO. Nice. He used to work for ESL. Okay. And he knows some guy that works Is with... Is he at dinner with? Yeah. Dinner? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah, interesting tie-in. Yeah. Um, he knows a guy at, was it Imperial Games, who's trying to launch like a chess.com competitor. Did you know about this? Interesting, no. Is it a real game? A mortal game, I'm sorry. Yeah, a mortal game. Is it a mortal game? Yeah, it is. I know those guys. Okay, you yeah. Do. Okay. So they sponsored two of our fighters in the, in the event. Okay, I figured you'd And they're doing Web3. Like they if have NFTs associated with them. Then you would know. <laughs> yeah. No, it's interesting. It, it's it's cool what they're doing. I think it looks, like the, the optics of it look a lot cooler than chess.com. The, the, the only thing is chess.com has the best servers, like the quickest matches, the most players, so you get matches around your level quicker. Yeah. And they have the most intelligent like um, 
rating and matching. So like the play experience is just so far beyond anyone else's. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that being said, uh, wait, shit. What was I talking about? Oh, oh, I was talking to the chess.com people. It's the largest chess event in history. More people watch chess on Sunday than on any one day in history. That's awesome. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So like well, world champion it, of chess. I think chess. Chess in general is growing, but yeah. like adding the boxing element adds the boxing crowd. That's like wait, wait a second, you're adding chess to this. Yeah. You know, so you've got this conflagration of. It's really kind of neat how that's coming together. Dude, hundred percent. It's good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you. It's been man. way too long. <laughs> Back at the like saddle. Wedding. Yeah. 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 I'm married. I have a kid. I know. I'm like, You're a father. I feel like it's like one of those Allstate commercials where okay. there, the two guys have been hanging out together the whole time in all those commercials. Yeah. They're sitting there, and he's like, "Yeah, my wife's gonna be pissed about my boat." Yeah. And he's like, "You're married." <laughs> That's exactly. that same sort of shit. So I think we should give a little bit of a background. Because uh, we're going to be like building a PC together. I, I tried cleared some space in the office. So you have just plain old parts right now? Or like, what's the deal? It's, it's the old PC. Everything's good. Mm -hmm. Like, we overbought RAM. We overbought, like, we have a solid state drive. Like, yeah, you can check out all the specs. But, like, the only thing we really needed an upgrade with was um, memory space. Mm -hmm. So I got another external. Mm -hmm. um, that's also, I think it's a SSD. You mean storage, yeah. Storage, gotcha. and then uh, and then I got a nice GPU, and that was like the furthest thing behind. I had like a 580X or something, and I got a 360 Ti. Good buy. Uh, Good time to buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because crypto shouldn't have been. <laughs> so people are mining. Well, <laughs> that and it's also they've also iterated on their generations of graphics. Intel's entered the market, mm. so the space is really interesting. It's almost like. Uh, other markets where like it's a good time to get into other things mm -hmm. where you have a post inflationary period of like okay you could buy a really nice graphics card for thousands of dollars mm -hmm. now that that's cooling and contracting good time to get something good yeah 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 it well and I would have bought it regardless so I think yeah, I just yeah. got lucky on timing <laughs> yeah but I tried to uh, I think I already told you this but I tried to play Elden Ring and God of War on stream and it was yeah, like, I was like, skipping around the whole yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like, Microsoft it was unwatchable. <laughs> it was unwatchable. Next slide, please. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny. Yeah, potato card. It yeah. was a potato card. Yeah, um, well, I remember installing, so the first time we built a computer, I remember we had an issue where the power supply took out your graphics card. It was an XFX. 7970. Mm. We put it in there, it powered up. Dude, good memory. posted. It, well, you know why I know this? Because it's the coaster on which I put my beer in front no. of the computer. <laughs> that, that card Memory. fried itself. Yeah. And I, what I did was I took a, a StarCraft II coaster and I glued it to the PCB of the card and I put the card on my desk. That's actually awesome. And it's like right, that's right in front of my computer every time. It's a DIY it's like, coaster. For me, the lesson in, if you're getting a power supply, get an A plus gold or higher rated power supply. Otherwise, you're gonna have shit like that happen where the 12 volt rail zaps your card. And I, like, I, I'll never forget that because I was so mortified that yeah. like, we were like, hey, let's do this. It's going to be great. And I was like, I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Zap. <laughs> no. We got out of the way. So there's a good segue into the history. So Glenn had built both of my PCs with me. And that's generous for me to say with me. Because, like, I basically just watch you, feed you beer, cheer you on. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's basically it. <laughs> um, well, I've built a lot of computers, not just yours. Yeah. Um, which allows me to feel comfortable doing that. But at that time, I was... We were young in, in a lot of areas. Mm -hmm. We were young in just, first of all, computers and playing games we were, not on a console. We were all Xbox. We were, we were Xbox we were gamers. Xbox. We went, we, went deep, we went deep in COD, Modern Warfare 2, and Borderlands. Those were our two big games. Borderlands, for sure. You were bigger into COD, but, dude, we had groups that just ran train on COD. Yeah. You get the upper ground on Afghan. You were... Yeah, or no, so, no so who else we had? We had, we had Hillbilly and Bones Grinder. Bones, Hillbilly, Aliens. There were so many people at Kuba 2. Yeah. There was, 
But we would get like a full search and destroy well, team and just wreck them. everyone because we were used to playing together. They're still in my Discord. So essentially, yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of hanging out on Xbox Live, it's Discord now. It's Discord. Do you do voice chat stuff? Do you guys hang out like it's like every it's, every night? There's people on right now with their cameras on every night. Every night. Every night. That's so cool. It's like we stream to ourselves. I love know? it. Like instead of. But you no, get to hang instead out of putting it on Twitch and like being like, "Hey, chat," it's like we're just looking at each other and giving each other shit. <laughs> I love that. I gotta get in there. It's fun. That will be fun. It's fun. Uh, Marshall Mosher's in the chat. New remember him from play some search. I want to. So I do want to get the new COD. Speaking of chat. Oh, um, I bought it. I just can't play it yet because of the GPU. Oh, we can well, play it here today. Once we get it, that'll, that'll I, be our uh, reward. So I'm. I have to admit to chat and you. Even though I play on PC, I don't use keyboard and mouse still. I still use a controller. Yeah. Because think about it this way, and this is going to piss off some people. Yep, here we go. They're already getting... What? They're already getting going. <laughs> Bro, what? They're already getting, no, here's... No, watch, watch, watch this. You guys are going to love this. You get the benefits of all the performance power of a PC, so better frames, you know, quicker ping, all that. You know, you're getting the information quicker. But when you play a controller... You get all the benefits of all the auto aim that everybody bitches about. <laughs> so you can kind of abuse that in a way, and I'm sure people are going to react to this. Yeah, my little brother is bad. Auto boss. aim question mark. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but being able to use it and abuse it and like know what it's doing is another kind of let's say subsection of knowing how to play a game. Gotcha. It's almost like driving a car that has driver assists, you mm -hmm. need to know when to be able to turn them on and turn them off. Sure. Like traction control or stability control. It's like, there's some situations where it's like, mm, it's raining, maybe I should keep STS and TCS on. Right. But it's dry, I can actually get more control out of the car if I don't have traction control on because I know it's being like pretty raw. Mm -hmm. So there are some games, not just all shooters, but there's some games where I do play keyboard and mouse and I want that feel and granularity of every wrist movement every time I you know my butthole pinches Twitch. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like okay um, but there's games like Wreckfest that I'll play where I'm like I want a controller there's games like Killing Floor where I want a controller yeah because it's more arcadey kind of feel okay, good and time. it brings me back to everything like this like grew up playing on a console right this is cool. I grew up with a ball and wheel mouse. Does anybody in the chat, any in the chat, go <laughs> ball and wheel mouse? Take the ball out, and then you blow on the yeah. blow on the ball. How gay is that? And then <laughs> scratch off the little rollers because there's some raw dude that would build up on there. And then you sit there, and you every single time on an RTS, you want it to scroll sideways or scroll up. You had to sit there and get that ball <laughs> going. We're just like <laughs> all of a sudden, <laughs> like Starcraft. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you're you're able to like spin up a bowling ball before you spin it down the lane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, click some heads. Yeah, I get clicking it. I used to play Borderlands on the PC with the clicky clicky root and tootie head shoddy duty, so mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I, I'm just now getting used to it with Valorant. Prey and I play a lot. Kyle plays a lot. Um, who are our, our other goats in uh, Nook? Nook's pretty good. We we do like uh, chat games before I left for the LA for the chess boxing thing, and they were teaching me Valorant, which I like. So I was getting used to like moving, aiming, zooming in. Yeah, the movement I think is really tough because it's not me, as good as a joystick. I, I do think that's movement, an improvement for controller. Like, I can imagine a hybrid setup where you have like. Some sort of like half mouse, half controller, where you're able to move fluidly mm -hmm. and do a couple of things. Like I use one of those. Uh, I've used one of those breakout. Um, I think Belkin makes it, but Razer rebranded it. It's like a Nostromo, um, and they have an analog stick on the thumb mm -hmm. and a mini space bar underneath your thumb, and then you can program like three rows of four keys or something like that. Which is helpful for stuff like Minecraft, where you're like, okay, I want to have the hybrid, but I want to have the precision click of like mining this box or placing things there. Sure. Or like Valheim is a good example of that. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying to play Valheim. Uh, Tom, was that you? Who was that? Or maybe I think it was Johnny in one tab. They were trying to get us uh, like a big server of, of Valheim. Together. Jiggle peeking. You know, got to get that jiggle jiggle. <laughs> Tomahawk, welcome to the Ubers. 
Looks like we got someone else too while uh, we've been talking. Kivo, hey. Um, yeah, Johnny. It was Johnny. Um, yeah, Buzzard is good at uh, at Valorant. Um, and then like Tom and I and AG all started around the same time. So we're when we play together, we're actually matched with people around our level, mm -hmm. and it's a lot better. You want a beer? Sure, sure. Yeah, let me take my coat off. It's a little. It's yeah. cold outside. Just came in and started chatting. We'll try. Um, uh, when's the last time you played Smash 64? Cheers. cheers. Uh, Smash 64? Holy crap. Um, right? <laughs> that was a long time ago at like a sleepover pre-college. I feel like this would be something that like you and your brother would fight over growing up. What we Did would fight over was on the N64 was a game called Top Gear. Oh yeah. It was okay. a racing game. You can only play two player multiplayer. Well, I think you could play four. But I tell you what, we would wreck each other. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> So that um, that guy Mike Maestro Maestro Mike is kind of his alias. He He's, streams. So he was at DreamHack when you were. Oh, cool. He was competing in the CS:GO tournament. He used. Wow, to, so he's legit. He plays in like the top two hundred. He's okay. really good. He was a Valorant coach. Um, he used to work for ESL. And. So what is Twitch.tv backslash slash Maestro? I think I linked it somewhere. Maestro. Maestro Mike, maybe. Mm, I don't know. Let me see. Would it be in our chat? I might have. I might have linked it in Discord. Let me see if I can just find it. Pop quiz. It wasn't really. Hmm. I didn't link it in our yeah, DMs. It's not in here. I didn't link it in our DMs. I think I linked it in your uh, in your Discord. But what I can do is I can go to his Discord cool. and grab Same. his thing. <laughs> oh, did he change his <laughs> He changed his Discord to Dirty Mike and the Boys. I love it. <laughs> um, it's twitch.tv slash slash maestro mj3 um, and he streams CSGO, Valorant um, that kind of thing okay this guy yep, there oh, we about, about the same amount of followers so he's had an interesting journey through esports and he's really plugged into CSGO related community stuff and, and mm -hmm. where CSGO is and where Valorant was going um, and he's stupid good at talk about somebody who is a mouse and keyboard uh, proficient player he is very very good I like all these buttons and banners and stuff I don't have any of that stuff yet I look like such a noob with all my like overlays and stuff well I don't know I don't know. I don't do any of that stuff. I'm not a Twitch pro at all. I, I, I like theoretically put it on the other side of my of setting up the GPU and like having like the the hardware set up, and then I'm gonna like focus on the how it looks and everything. Because then I can like play everything. I can pour myself into it. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, what kind of tipped you over the edge into this? Because there was a time when... <laughs> Dude. Was it, was it just Ludwig? <laughs> I told you the story. <laughs> Ludwig? <laughs> all right. Most, most of like the day oneers know most of the story, but I don't think all of it. I'll tell you it in detail. Because I think, I think it'll be entertaining and it'll be enlightening for the people listening, too. Because um, well, I always thought that there was a point where, with the direction that I saw, like... Instagram and a lot of the things that you did going, I was sitting there like, why hasn't he brought in like the, the gamer nerd bro side? I haven't showed to anyone. 
because it was definitely like firewalled a little bit. Yeah. And I saw the potential. I think you got into the right spot, the right place. And I think it's well needed. It fits a need. Kind of like um, Healthy Gamer GG, mm. your channel, where it's trying to be a well-rounded, not just like, I'm really good at this one thing and that's all I care about. It's mm. like mindfulness, that whole thing. The whole tee-up question I asked you in chat the other day, where I was like, what does moving mean in moving with Matt? It's mm -hmm. like, I always just jokingly assumed, it's like, I move a lot. Mm -hmm. I just moved. That's not fun. Mm -hmm. What does it really mean and where does it go and how does it tie into story time? Story time. AG design this. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's yeah. it's definitely a story that I think is worth telling. I think I think I've been meant to do this for a while, and I wouldn't have pulled the trigger if I wasn't like shoved off of the cliff into the streaming sea. <laughs> it is tough. It is tough. I was talking with Michael about it, um, mainly because this sort of thing you have to invite the world into your life in such a way mm -hmm. that is I kinda like that though. It's scary, like you said, but at the same time it's open and honest, which is I think the way that we've been friends for a long time. Yeah, and, and if it isn't then people can tell. And then it's like less appealing. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like, it's just, just like be yeah. yourself. It gets exhausting when you start trying to be someone else. Yeah. All like the time if I came in like here and could, don't forget to like and so, like, yeah. like okay, what am I selling? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> We're just here to have a good time. Exactly. Try and make the world a better place. Exactly. So okay, so here's how here's how this all happened. I I started watching a lot of Twitch over the pandemic mm. because. I had a I had a girlfriend who was living in this space with me. Different rooms. And we were lo yes, and we were locked inside. So the the sunroom was her room. That was her office. Most of her clothes were there. Shit. That side. And then the office was my room. And that's how we got like space when we needed space. Mm -hmm. I was on that side, she was on the side. And and so I like most of my work went away because of the pandemic. I was planning events. Oh right. I didn't even fucking think about that. Wow. Wow. So I was just like, you know, like didn't have a whole lot to do. A little depressed. I bet. And and like watching a shit ton of Twitch. And uh, and playing a shit ton of RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw you on Discord. And I thought you just had like a server farm that nope. was running RuneScape. Nope. Because <laughs> I saw I was like, man, maybe he just left his computer on. <laughs> no. Tell you what though, I haven't played RuneScape since I started streaming. Uh, oh. Because, like, RuneScape is, like, what I play to, like, have up in the background while I work or as, like, a distraction if I'm going through, like, a bad time. If I'm playing RuneScape, like, something's going on. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, since I started streaming, it's been, like, nonstop. Been working on the Ludwig event, but, okay, I'll get to that. So, I get through, uh, I get through the pandemic, and um, I start, I start one business during the pandemic called Wellfest, mm -hmm. which is virtual wellness. Which was like super needed during the pandemic. We served remote workforces, five to fifteen minute yeah. workday wellness breaks, movement and breath. We did guided meditation, all kinds of stuff. Really loved it, and it got me reps in the office that we're about to go into on the camera every day, multiple times per day. Yeah, I was leading breath work, meditation, etc. Yeah, but it was to like, like depending on the day and the time slot. Sometimes like five people would show up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes like maybe up to like. 40 people would show up. Yeah. It's like the top end. Yeah. Right? But it was just these little like workday wellness breaks. Mm -hmm. And um, and so like mostly focus on building that during the pandemic and then doing fight and flow sessions like personal training. Mm -hmm. And fight and flow is martial art movements with yoga. Kind of intended to like trick guys into doing yoga. <laughs> <laughs> well you know what's funny is um, <laughs> I'm having hernia surgery on Monday. And I could have used some yoga over the pandemic. <laughs> I tell you that. Moving twice in the same year, fuck that. That's no fun. Dude. It is not fun. Hurties aren't fun. Well, especially when you're just trying to Hulk Hogan all your furniture around and yeet it into the attic or whatever or get it down there. Wait, so you just so moved, though? I moved twice. Did you get the hernia during so, the last move? During the pandemic... In March of 2020, my mom got diagnosed with ovarian cancer, 
and the pandemic happened. And for me, for me, work was picking up. Mm. And then I was doing like, I was doing uh, basketball, working out at the gym. Like I had a good, healthy community at work. Mm. And all of a sudden all that went away and I was at home and I was stressed out and I would just not do a whole lot of activity other than, okay, let me prep our room for a baby. And then we had Leighton and then we had, you know, all these things where we thought we were going to move. We ended up selling our house because my mom passed in May. We moved in with my dad right after that so he wouldn't be alone while also capitalizing on the weirdness of the market. So it was kind of odd, like it was actually her idea when she was still alive with her sister. She was like, let's go ahead and move, you know, have you move in and, and, and like help my dad help me out. But it turned into a hospice care situation. Mm. Wasn't great. So we've been there and then we were looking for a home. We're looking for a home. We're looking for a home. The market's being weird. And we finally found a perfect place pulled the trigger so now we're moving out of a storage unit back into a home and in the process of doing that I was just going for a routine physical and was like yeah I kind of feel weird in this spot and he was like oh yeah that's a hernia <laughs> oh, no. and I was like oh man uh, I was like, like so is there like I like I've I've hurt other parts of my body and I go do physical therapy and learn a new exercise work it out and then train it up and then it goes away mm-hmm. but you can't train through a hernia you that's a gotta put it back in sew it up let's take the golf ball out (laughs) yeah it sucks yeah well when you heal when you heal up if you want to try some fighting flow or do some yoga i am i'm down for that just to be able to demonstrate that uh you know a a computer nerd like me can can get behind something like that you know even watching i watch a lot of starcraft back when we played starcraft day nine would always have breaks where he's like all right we need to get up and stretch it's day nine you know he's not exactly that was 10 years ago he's not exactly your your i love his attitude he, yeah he's, i i still draw a lot from day nine i at dream hack i was looking everywhere for him. i was like if i if i want to meet anyone at like a starcraft competition it's day nine well i remember when i went to uh, mlg raleigh i met him i had drinks with uh artosis and tasteless Really? At the hotel bar, because I was wearing, um, at the time, um, so Sean Plot, his brother Nick, is tasteless, and Artosis is Dan, who went to Korea to cast Pro Starcraft when Starcraft 2 came out. Mm-hmm. And I remember meeting them in the hotel bar, like right before MLG Raleigh started. And I had Artosis' shirt on, and it was Stella Artois, but he had edited it to say Stella Artosis. Artosis. <laughs> and he was like, that's my shirt. And I'm like, you're yep. Artosis. <laughs> <laughs> and so we took a picture, and then, like, we went outside, and, of course, Dan is a little bit more like, let me, you know, stick to my group, and Nick is kind of whatever. He went outside with us. He was smoking cigarettes at the time, and he just, like, we had a beer together. And I was like... It's really not that different from a, another human being. Like you can't have to have the no, you don't have to have that sort of like everyone's human parasocial. Like there's a firewall. It's like you know, we're we're living the same life. Yeah, totally. And you have to be able to appreciate that in your lifetime. There's only so many people you share that plot of time with, which is really important because you don't get to spend the time with people who live before you or after you. You have to make this time count. Um, so that's what I think was really cool about getting to know that community at that time. And shortly thereafter, we're building your computer. We're we're playing collegiate StarCraft and breaking keyboards. Yeah, we're I wanted to know that part. I wanted to know that part. So, so Glenn was my teammate on uh, on the the UGA StarCraft team. So we played collegiate StarCraft. We were we were the the duo team. Uh, and yeah, it and was. It was. I would four like, gate rush. <laughs> it was a lot like tennis, where you have like a line one, line two, line three, line four. Yeah. But the format was one on one or one v one, one v one. Then there was a two v two, and then I think there was a four three, v four. a four v four or something. Mm-hmm. And we were the two v two line, and because we had a nasty timing. Zerg Protoss timing. rush timing, and then I would just go full macro, and at the time. You could click, uh, I think, 
I'm pretty sure you could still do this, or you, it was new at the time. But you could click a setting after you launch the game where you could control my units, or, or we could share unit control, mm -hmm. but I couldn't like build stuff. With and it was so I could use your overlords to get uh, I would, exposure. Well, I would just pump up. units. I would just macro and uh, and send units so you could just mm -hmm. harass and give them the old one too. <laughs> and so I could I could get a pillar outside of the low ground mm -hmm. and, and then get your site low ground, with the overlord, pylon, overlord and then warp, warp it in the back of the base. Well, and I would be pecking at, at the front at door, the front, exactly. keeping the distraction. Yeah. And then yeah, uh, it's we're, long, we're jab, just cheese our way to victory. Jab, bibbity, bobbity, <laughs> boop. <laughs> we just cheese our way to victory. Yeah, it was so much fun. When it worked, when it didn't work, we were like, Shit. "Well, I guess we'll try the exact same thing again. Expect a different <laughs> result." <laughs> exactly. uh, but yeah, that's um, that was the history of that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think about all this. I mean, we were, at the time we were working with hardware that wasn't really that great. We were both on like. MacBook Pros, yeah. like 2009. Yeah. I still have that MacBook. It's I still do. Right there. Mm. On the other side of that couch. Still heating the couch. It's all, no, it's I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to like salvage them all. So I, I like collected, I, I just had like a like a drawer with all of my old Mac stuff in it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I can get trade-in value for it. So I'm, I, I've been like trying to go through this apartment and be like, what can I get rid of? That's what all the boxes are. <laughs> I see, I see. Mm -hmm. You you are you done moving or do you need any of those boxes? Those boxes are up for grabs. Uh, I don't have a car that could fit most of the size of the boxes you're pointing at. Okay. What do you need? But, them? Um, I, we have <laughs> we have a lot of boxes. Okay. okay. Right. This is for chat. I don't know if you can see this on the table. Yo, poopy ass. All right, so I rinsed poopy ass on N64 Smash, and he's like a high level melee player. Is this a drinking emoji? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love saying this when he's in chat because he really can't defend himself. <laughs> High level, dude, you're good. I saw you playing Mewtwo King. Do you, you got you got a guys, solid fox. Do you guys watch Poopy sixty nine Poopy, aka T Mall? He's really funny on uh, Modern Warfare. Okay, that's a similar name. <laughs> Exposed, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, Poopy, Poopy came over after DreamHack to help me set up my stream, mm -hmm. and he actually told me to buy a graphics card like the one that I bought. And then we sat here, we played chess, and then we, we played some X64 Smash, and he definitely won the first game. But then we played three more, and it was not 50-50. <laughs> it was not 50-50, dude. <laughs> I don't think it was, anyway. Maybe I'm just like like rose colored glasses looking back and remembering. Was it actually fifty fifty poopy? Well, I've really fluffed up your nostalgia right now. So <laughs> we were playing on us switching off Kirby. We'll see how that goes. That's fair. He did he did crush me with Kirby. Yeah. So I am absolute that dog, is fair. dog water at Smash. Anytime I play Smash, especially on the Switch, I'll get Wario and I'll go to the corner. And I'll wait for everybody else to fight, and then I'll start spawning his motorcycle and just ad nauseum, <laughs> just driving. Like, hey, 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 just <laughs> because that's the only like whatever combo I can figure out. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a good Smash. I haven't player. even played Ultimate, but I I really like Smash sixty four. I played that the most in college because mm -hmm. we had a sixty four that like Catawba place with Cody and them, and then um, and then Melee. I used to play as a kid, and I want to get back into. And some of the participants from the chess boxing event uh, were like professional melee players. They, they some were like top twenty in the world. Oh, some were within the top forty. Now, now he's admitting that I won most. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did switch a lot of uh, a lot of players. So he did switch like from his best player Kirby to other players. Well, you could spin that narrative a couple ways. He was toying around with stuff that he's not good at, or. He was trying as many characters to beat you as possible and couldn't do it. So you mm -hmm. never know. That's fair. Right? Yeah, but his, like, Let's his give him top... the benefit of the doubt. He played all of his non-primary. <laughs> yeah. His top versus my top, I, he wins, I think, with Kirby. Kirby was hard to beat. Hugo was an animal. Hugo was a beast. Hugo is a former top 20 in the world uh, player for Melee, too. Yeah, I'll download Slippy when, uh, when we build a new PC. Well, it's not really a new PC. When we upgrade the PC. What I'm worried about is that my case isn't going to be big enough. 
What do you want to find out? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. How do we move this? Yeah, we're just, we're going to take that in there. All right. Let's um, go. i give you, yeah, a quick tour real quick. That uh, looks like the kitchen. That's the kitchen. It looks like the bathroom. Yep, bathroom. Do we need to take this thing? Yeah, I'll, I'll grab it. Should I be the cameraman? Sure, you can grab it, actually. Whoa, this is pretty wild. That's the ceiling. And we're going in here? Yeah. Okay. Moana. Is the <laughs> mic, sorry, is the, is the mic in here? Uh, everything's in here. So. Oh, see, this is what I know right here. I got to show the chat this mural. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's high school. So I helped Matt DJ a couple of these events. DJ Grokus. Um, I think it was the three in the middle. Maybe maybe one of those I did not DJ. Um, the one at the Georgia definitely Theater. Definitely did. And then you the did one. multiple though. You did at least three. I helped out with the one in Buckhead, but I didn't DJ it. That's right. Here, you, you're a cameraman. I don't know where you want this. Um, I don't know where we should put it actually. Keep an eye on that. Maybe up here would be good. Happy. And then we face it down. That's a pretty sophisticated little Yeah, it's thing. a good little DGI. So I, I'm thinking we're going to use the ground to build it, right? Like down here? That or whatever you're... Um, this is popcorn for us. This is, <laughs> this, popcorn. This is, this is provided by uh, Kendall, my girlfriend, who you're going to meet. She's on her way over. Oh, shit. Um, so this is... I'm being cheddar. ambushed, chat. Cheddar, salt, and this is the caramel. That's the good stuff. Especially right. if you've already eaten. Right. You bring me pho, and okay. I haven't I haven't had dinner yet, so. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Um, actually, this is a pretty good angle. Yeah, I think I'm this gonna, is good to I'm build. gonna show the chat. So we've got a MSI Ventus triple fan cooler, 360 Ti. Oh. I love MSI cards, but MSI has kind of gone to the dark side in terms of a couple of their practices, as revealed by other YouTubers, but. This is an LHR. We've got DirectX 12, the Zero Frozer design, um, MSI Afterburn. I think this is going to be a really good card for you, buddy. I'm pumped. 8 gigs DDR6. I got it on Cyber Monday, too. So I got a little deal. Nice. Nice. All right. We're going into plaid. RTX. Glad to see the voice is back. Yeah, dude, the voice the voice was a r in a rough place until literally yesterday. Yesterday I had uh, a four hour certification uh, that I had to lead, so I was talking for four hours, and then I had a podcast interview uh, like right after that. And I I called Kendall after, and I was like, "You're gonna have to talk on this phone call. <laughs> like my my throat is fucked." We also have a crucial P5 Plus two mm -hmm. gig NVMe. PCI 4.0, which what kind of motherboard are you rocking? I hope Kyle's still in the chat. We also this is this stays above my uh, my PC at all times. This is Kyle, the Bad Box G, in a uh, in a skunk costume. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Is he in there? Yeah, I see it. Is it's Kyle? A good shot. No, I don't That's think good. Kyle's in there. All right, clip it for Kyle. <laughs> clip that. <laughs> That's great. Um, okay, so we need to take like all, basically like all of this. So it's back there. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna at least move these two so we can get this out, mm -hmm. and then all of the cords are like down behind the back of the desk, mm -hmm. and like plug in down here. Okay. So I'm just gonna probably unplug stuff. What is the best way to do this? I, I'm. This is your stuff, or you know how to plug in. <laughs> That's generous. <laughs> That's very generous. <laughs> I'm gonna be hands off until you have that thing unplugged. Okay. Then I'm gonna get in there and get all get all grabby. Okay. Um. How? What's the best way to do this? Okay. Uh, my ass looks really good on chat right now. Is the mic in here? <laughs> All right, let's scoot this one like as far as we can back behind us. Okay, 
And we're going to put this right up against here. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out. Okay. Um, if you go actually right out this door, oh. take a left. Oh. You're going to see. Oh, uh, there's portals. Yep. Yeah, you're going to see uh, the recycling right next to the trash. And then, uh, and then the fridge, the bottom right. Got it. If you want to know. Yes, we can keep that in. We should shut this down first, for sure. We should for sure shut this down first. Yeah, is it not off? Uh yeah, no, no, no. I was I was so I just set up a YouTube. And guys, we had like a we had one video do like three thousand views uh last night. Uh for like all of the behind the scenes kind of stuff that happened at um at chess boxing. So if you watch that one, thank you. That one like got 150 subscribers with that one video. I'm gonna go ahead and put the laptop and chat over here okay. off camera. Yeah, you're cool. And then yeah, we'll go ahead and shut down. We'll probably um, use this area. Yeah, you want to shut down, and then you want to throw the rocker switch on the power supply. What is that? So next to where the power supply... Okay, I'll just do it. After it's done, there's a rocker switch on the power supply. There. Which actually cuts the power to the 12-volt rail. Okay. Uh, let me unplug this one. Because this is this monitor. To lean over to look at chat. It's kind of weird. Your YouTube is how I found your Twitch, says Sunfishy. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, you're the first, Sunfish. <laughs> you're Yay. the first to find Twitch through YouTube and not the other way around. That's great. Thanks for being here. Organic follow, yeah. We love the it's like when It's like when you plant a seed it's rare. and the first sprout comes it's, it's, it's very rare. It's very rare for it not to be a lud bud. We, we got a few chess people from Chess Bra and Botez Live, though. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Okay. So I think we're good to start unplugging you stuff. You want me to just grip and rip or no? Did you, did you plug all this stuff in or what? what did you I mean, at some point. Okay. I, like, <laughs> but I don't, it's not like I know what goes where and what is what. I think we just go for it. We're gonna try and do this as low maintenance as possible so that all okay. the stuff we unplug just goes right back in. And while while you're doing some of the building, I'm gonna be doing some organizing for it to come back together in like a more put together way. So I already see a potential snag when we go to plug this back in. That DVI monitor. I highly doubt you have a DVI port on the Ventus 3060 Ti. Really? This white one. So I wonder which one is that. Um, we just follow it. Taking a guess on when I unplugged it, I think it's this one. Okay. Just so just remember the white one, and I'll figure that out. <laughs> if I need to get another monitor, that's totally cool. Well, but it's these, not monitor. These, you get a, these you are get the a, same. It might just be a different cable. That's all. Oh, that's I see. You know what I mean? Okay. You might have just had a, a DVI cable handy, you plugged it in and it worked. And at this point, um, you might not need a DVI anymore and you can just use an HDMI, depending on where that went to. Okay. God, look at all those wires. Hold on. I want to show them that. Oh, man, it's dark. It's dark, but there's kudzu back here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what kudzu is, don't brag about that. Okay. Look at all that shit. Blah. Blah. Sorry. <laughs> we'll, we'll make it. Better. All right. Oh, we got another one up here. Front panel. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get a
paper towel to like wipe uh, stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it looks like an NZXT case. Uh, my stomach just dropped faster than the PC would have. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to. I mean, it's one of those things. I had his whole world in my hands. So. Take that front panel off. So. Let's see. If I can get an okay shot of this for the chat. That looks okay. So, Cooler Master equivalent of a Hyper 212 Evo, if not the exact thing. A couple of things of RAM. Matt's dusting us off here. I believe <laughs> this is a NZXT H10. What is this? Sounds good to me. We probably should have checked that before I shut down the computer. So you could have uh, seen all the Well, no, uh, I'm just walking specs. through what I'm seeing here. Because the lighting is... Um, what kind of card do you even have? And another MSI card. So, a couple of sticks of RAM. Good configuration. I think I was 16 man. I swear to God you did this. Did you not do this? I don't think I did this build. Really? No. No. Might have been my friend Spencer. But all we're well, swapping out is the GPU, so we need to unbox that. Okay. All right, <gasps> an unboxing moment. You do it. It's yours. You buy it. I'll take the cellophane off. Okay. Oh. Chat, you might find this appealing. <laughs> Here it comes. It's a chonker. Oh. Oh. It's still playing hard to get. <laughs> Don't know if she likes me yet. Mm -hmm. Look at that dragon. So MSI. Wow. Wow. Water check. Huh, that's it. So they give you a quick user guide. Beauty. Anxiety. Sure. Why anxiety? Because you're holding on one hand. Oh. Oh, could it break? Oh. <laughs> Two of them at once. Uh, oh. Wouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Wait, why? Because you can use the anti static bag to put your old card in. Oh. But the. Cut it. So I can still put it in there. Yeah, you can. It just won't seal. Is there a seal? Oh. Uh, so, ah. <laughs> talk about uh, pro chess move right here. Cut the side open. Oops. We had a sticky. We could have done, we could have slid it out. So why, why do you want to put the old card in the anti-static bag? Anti-static bags are good for putting PCB on there. So the thing that is really interesting about this card and I'm gonna compare with your old card. Um, are these thumb tight, or do you have a screwdriver? Yeah, I got them. You got a screwdriver? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, do you need Phillips or um, yeah. Clat? Phil. I need a Dr. Phil. Did you work on your car with this last? <laughs> uh, I might have built, I have like one of those like exercise bikes. I think that's oh, yeah. I that's exercise it. bike grease all right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lubed up. All right, we're going to hang on to these. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna wipe down so much stuff back there. Hold on.
I get so much enjoyment out of wiping, wipe, wiping things down. It sounds, <laughs> that sounds like a weird... Wiping? <laughs> I do it every day, well, sometimes your, twice a day. Tell us about your bowel movement. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this case has an interesting little PCB guard here. Oh, this is one of those mic things that... Why Why does... It, put in chat. Why does this exist? Uh, why? It's a pop filter, dude. Yeah, but why... So... Okay, pop so filter. So, if, if you take all the mics ever made in the world and you just say P words in front of them... Puh. Pop, 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 pop. You're going to have different mic profiles depending on like dynamic condenser whatever it is react differently to those sorts of breaths of hard air okay so that kind of softens it so it gets a better sound recording out of it got it so it, it it's kind of like a barrier to like airwaves that you don't really mean to speak but you have to in order to make like uh, and punchy noises that might be a shitty explanation if you really want to know go to pod podcastage YouTube, podcast stage, pod. that guy is great. He knows everything about all sound equipment. I mean, we, have a, sound we have a music producer in chat, Tom, Tom the producer. Knows his stuff. S's and P's, he's saying. Yeah. For plosive. Block air, science. <laughs> okay, science. Science. For science. Science rules. All right, so here's the swap in, swap out. Looks like... Size matters? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> the PCB is actually smaller on the 3060Ti, but the cooler is so much bigger. And most of that's down to what my hand was covering up and what this covers up. But you can kind of see on your old card. Is this going to be big enough? Huh? I mean, is this going to be... Is that going to be big enough for this? Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, good. Wait, wait, you got plenty of right. But the PCB design is just so different, and they cover it up. They cover it up on your, on your new one. But that looks cool. Yeah, I mean, I could go into a little bit of depth on what was going on. So this is an RX five eighty Armor OC, eight gigabyte. Okay. And this is also an eight gigabyte, but it's a thirty sixty. So. We're going from team red to team green, and... Wait, what does that mean? What are the teams? Um, AMD makes the Radeon R8 580. Okay. And this is uh, NVIDIA. Uh, the MS, MSI implemented both. Okay. But this is NVIDIA's board that they put the giant cooler on. Gotcha. So we can put that in the bag and we'll put this in your PC and <gasps> the best part about it whoever told him to get this one thank you because it has the same power connector <laughs> wait I think we I think we owe it that to poopy ass poopy ass did you save the day I think I hear Kendall yeah well, I see your well, poofy jacket through the mirror I can uh handle things so see what I mean on as far as your video outs mm -hmm. you've got HDMI and then three display ports so you had HDMI and then I'll get one replacement port I guess one replacement. I don't know what sort of cables you have available but I'm sure I can dig one up let me see what that TV is using outside okay So what I'm talking about, chat, is he was using the DVI at the bottom here, and this one's triple display and HDMI, so little adjustments, little details.
it's in. Uh, maybe. I have the popcorn open. Not an HDMI cord. This will work, right? So for one port, but there are three D um, display port cables, so they look like the other ones have HDMI though, right? Or no? So there are three of these. See how it's different. Different. And you have. Uh oh. Where's the other display cable? There's one. HDMI. Oh, that's HDMI. Yeah, so you'll be able to hook up two monitors. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what so do I need to order? Huh? What uh, do I need to uh, order? Uh, once we get there, I'll let's plug in what we can, and then we'll we'll know exactly. Because they might be able to overnight deliver it. Amazon's usually pretty good at that with. Uh, thumb tight on that because you don't want to read super tight. Y'all, so many people are reaching out about chess boxing. It's great. <laughs> I, I get DMs every day. You also do delivery from Best Buy for quickest. Okay. Hello, dinosaur. <laughs> are you calling me a dinosaur because of all my old shit? So I just need DisplayPort Superior. DisplayPort is the best. Oh, so it's not called DisplayPort Superior. They're calling DisplayPort Superior to whatever I had. Okay, I get it. Just make sure when you order one, make sure it's DisplayPort 1.2 or at least 1.2, but 1.4 mm -hmm. ideally. Okay, should we do another unboxing? Ready? So Glenn, tell them about your education and work. Okay. And why you're into this stuff. Alright. Um, uh, let me plug this in and then I'll answer that. Gigabyte AB 350 gig. 
I might have taken a picture of my specs when Poopy Ass was here too. I'm gonna start calling Poopy Ass Wyatt because that just sounds better. Thomas and motherboard might be too old. Okay, so this was November 11th or so? No, 16th. I did not take a picture, but I do have a picture of Wyatt sitting in the same spot we were just sitting in. You should. You should then. Wait, well, you know what? Kyle, you tuned out for a bit. Did you see? Uh, <laughs> of did you, course. Did you see the picture? Your NVMe is covered up by your GPU, so I'm gonna have to take it out. <laughs> Wait, does it? Is, are both gonna work? Yeah, no, it'll work. It's just I didn't see it because it's underneath your new GPU. Oh, gotcha. And I already put it in, so. Okay, cool. In classic fashion, you gotta put it in. Okay, Kyle it. saw it. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Well, we love that. We, you, we with, without a little drama. Well, we'll you just, gotta see this story. You gotta see, tease it. You know? Yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. We remember in college, you were like, "Dude, you must be sick of me." Uh, my my little trick. <laughs> it's not really a trick. It just is like. It just works. <laughs> Just, I don't know why I found that so funny at the time. I mean, <laughs> new and novel. It, I mean, it wasn't new. It was just like the fact that you were like, do this technique. Chad <laughs> 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 is perplexed. And it shall stay that way. <laughs> we're building a PC, if you're just joining. I see a few more viewers in chat. And also, um, Octavio Andre Bonjourni. You sound French. Welcome to chat. So the NVMe slot right here mm -hmm. was covered up by your main PCI. So it goes right? under it. So it's going like. So the reason why these are so desirable is an M.2, which is the format mm -hmm. of an NVMe SSD. Is it's the same flash memory that's on this, but it's hardwired directly into. That. lanes that go to the CPU gotcha. so they don't actually have to go through the chipset and why mm -hmm. that's important is for like the speed with which the processor gets the storage data mm -hmm. so it doesn't have to be processed through the onboard motherboard chipset okay because the SATA ports go through the chipset gotcha. and NVMe plugs straight into the PCI lanes the same way a graphics card does PCI lanes are like highways uh, a chipset is like public transportation. Mm. If I had to make it, that's a drastic, kind of not great analogy, but it's the best I got. I get it. So this is the screw that is going to tie this down. The way you install yeah. these. So it's cool that I have. It's like a bamboo right? shoot. You put it in at an angle and then you bop it down. Did you take the screw out? Yep. Oh, sure. okay. So this comes in this way, at an angle. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's going to fit in. And it, as it sits, it's at an angle, so all I'm going to do is put it down, and you're going to put the screw on top. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of fiddly because it's small. Okay. 
I got it. And they're both not perfect. Yeah. Um, just, just, I can. Okay, I think it's lined up now before. Okay. <gasps> it's happening. It doesn't need to be turbo tight. It just needs to be secure and down. Mm -hmm. So it's good. Yeah. And now we'll do what we just did again. Oopsie daisy. So it's nice. It's a nice tight packaging. A lot of mother modern motherboards will have three NVMe slots because modern processors have more PCI lanes. So there's more to be offered with a full ATX motherboard like this. But luckily, I found it. Just had to look at the manual. Magnetic. This is why you use magnetic screwdrivers. <laughs> because from working at AutoZone, if you drop a screw in the wrong part of the car, kaboom! Your day is ruined. <laughs> How long were you at AutoZone? I forgot about that. Uh, it wasn't that long. I think it was less than a year, to be honest. shield in first. It's probably why it's there to be honest. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna search for the port that has the white one. So I can go ahead and remove that because I know we, we definitely can't plug that in, right? Uh not unless you have an adapter. Okay. Which I highly doubt. I mean, if I would have known that ahead of time, I could have brought some because I had a whole bag of them, but. That's not a big deal. Oh, we might need like a splitter for USBs because I'm running out. Like I can't plug in my stream deck and my headphones right now. Get um, on Amazon, Amazon Basics seven port USB hub. And you want it to be USB 3.0 because the 3.0 from the hub to the computer is going to provide the bandwidth you need to put a bunch of other USB 2.0 devices on it. I'm pulling this up right now. Smile.amazon.com. And then uh, Amazon Basics. Well, you can, if you. 3.0. Just. Hub? USB hub. There's going to be a million of them. Either the Amazon Basics one or the Anchor. Anchor makes a really good brand uh, one, I think. I see, a, I see a four port. I mean, you could do a four port. I have a seven port. Is it that one? No. That's a ten, ten port. port. It's one but that these would be okay? It's one that has its own power brick. And the reason why that's important is because you'd only get so much power off of a single USB port. You want one that has a power brick so that if you're trying to like charge a phone and plug in something that draws passive power off the USB cable, it's going to support it. You know what I mean? I build a lot of things. I always keep that and a rubber band on hand for strip screws. Good call. Um, okay, I'm going to let you inform which one to pick. This looks like a power brick, right? With a 10 port? No, 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 it has a, it has like power. So like, see how this one has a ton of stuff and it has a power plug with it? Mm -hmm. 
you want to find something that's got, it doesn't have to be that one, but. Um, I don't see any with the power brick on this scroll. Sabrent makes good stuff. This is a really good... Anchor is a good brand. So that one? So it has power, and okay. then that's USB A to B. So where... I just plug that into my... Um, okay. okay, that works. So I guess you can kind of see how it goes, where like that would go into power and that would go to your computer. Right. Cool, that's perfect. All right, let's put the case back together and start plugging things back in. So what I'm gonna do, and this is a pro move, is put your old GPU in your new GPU box so okay. that it stays safe and you keep it in the anti-static bag that you have. Do I even wanna keep it though? Salvage it? You can sell it. Okay. You think people would buy that? You know how old it is? It's not that bad. Okay. <laughs> it's an R8 5D. Do, do you want to take it home and sell it for as part of helping? Is that... <laughs> I am a klepto, so okay. I will, if you don't want it, I will take it. Okay. Dude, don't... that's yours. That's 100% yours. Okay. Well, you keep the box. I'll just take the card. Okay. Oh my god, is it done already? Did we do this already? Yeah. Holy shit. It was that easy. That's awesome. I feel like I changed his alternator and he's like, a whole new engine! <laughs> <laughs> but kind of. <laughs> uh, I mean, I just equivocated a GPU to an alternator and that's kind of a, not exactly truthful comparison, but. What are you driving these days? Infinity Q50S. Ooh, okay. So the pickup truck is done. Oh, that died a long time ago. Oh, I missed that thing. Oh, so in college, we would ride around in Glenn's like souped up, jacked up, what was it, a Ford, what? It was a Ford F-150 Lariat with, um, <laughs> I had a down box 210s with like a thousand watt amp. That just it was absolutely so fun. Rumbled down the block. Playing Gucci <laughs> man. Like. Oh my god. People wanted to listen to uh what was that Gucci Lemon song? Like, yeah, yeah. We would yeah. go downtown and girls would want to sit in the back. It was the best. This was back before Instagram was selling you vibrators. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so that was the best they could get. You know, obviously we've moved on. Nobody wants yeah. us now. <laughs> Alright, let's put this thing back together. So maybe I will put this thing back and use it. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Um, is this a light? Yeah. But that's USB power in it. That's what I meant about like getting stuff because you have a lot of USB peripherals that draw power. Having a powered extension and you plug all those into it, uh, now your motherboard isn't supplying the power. It's yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Is that helpful? Yes, very. me plugging in USB ports. What could but be? it's cool. Oh my God. <laughs> Universal serial bus connect in eh? I don't remember what ports were in what, so your computer is probably gonna be like, what the hell is this peripheral? So. That's the noise of an analog power cable. 
connected. <laughs> Don't put your power cable next to your audio cable. Pro tip. So, display ports. We do have at least one display. Uh, you should and, have two. And one, one HDMI. You should have two. I think this was your front panel I.O. Does it reach? Yeah, that was your front panel. This is the one that's not gonna work. Okay. And you've got... So I need at least one display cord connector. And I'm just trying to make sure everything is plugged back in the way it was. Where was your other display? Did it fall down the back? I'm going to be heading off to the gym shortly. Hell yeah, Chosen One. Go get it. All right, so you've got two displays. Oh, good. Everything's plugged in. Two displays and one HDMI. Well, no, two displays in total. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So you're going to need two display port cables. Okay, so display port... And cool. word to the wise, display port, where's your, where's your chat? Where's chat? Yes. Oh, there's chat over here. Yeah. So display port cables on Amazon are finicky. You're going to have a mixed time because there's so many different, who knows what brand providers on Amazon. If you want to get the best DisplayPort cables, get them on mono price. Okay. But so Amazon basics are usually somewhat trustworthy. 1.4. I don't think you need six feet, but they're only 10 bucks. So you need two of them. Okay. So that's what I would do. All right. This is box. Oh, cool. Do I need anything else? Not that I know. So, what, hold on, hold on. Did you hit purchase yet? No. Okay. We need to make sure that your actual displays support that. Okay. So, this is your HDMI display. And I'm that imagining is? this is your display port display. Okay. This is because this is a Dell Ultra Sharp. I can yeah. tell already yeah, yeah. by the bezels and the big Dell. Okay. <laughs> these these two are probably the old ones. One of them was probably HDMI, and I get I bet you this one was DisplayPort. Okay. So let me look at the back of that and. This one has the white thing. Right. So you can get a DisplayPort to to. Um, so I should just go ahead and take this white thing out. Right. Well, I don't know what all other ports it has. Is it only is it only DVI D? Because it looks like it's DVI, like old DVI, DVI D. Yeah, so you have VGA and DVI D. So all you need is a DisplayPort to DVI cable or a DisplayPort to VGA, which is what that is, cable, and then it'll work. So but, what's the one that I already have the cable for? And then I just sub so, out one of those cords for an adapter, right? Well, I would get an adapter rather than a cable because DisplayPort to... So DisplayPort is a digital so signal. I should cancel one of these, right? One of these? I would actually get both of them. And the reason why I'm saying that is... DisplayPort is a digital signal. This is an analog. VGA and DVI are kind of older, but if you get a converter, 
it will take the active signal from a good DVI cable and convert it successfully. If you get a VGA or DVI cable that converts to DisplayPort, it's a passive cable. Got it. Okay, which so keep this it, and get an adapter for this it's part. It bit me in the ass of this because part. I was supporting the same problem and okay. I got a, a cable that converts between the two. That makes sense. So okay. let's look So for what adapter do I need? I'll look for it here. You might be able to throw the rocker switch and power it on. While, okay. while I'm doing this. Where is that? So, here. See that? Okay. so now the motherboard is powered. You can press the power button and see what displays pipe up. What you're gonna need to do is what you're gonna need to do is um, get the drivers installed for that motherboard. Or that uh, graphics card. So here's what I would recommend. So you see something like this. This is going to allow you to plug that existing cable from your existing monitor into that um, card by DVI-D, which is what that cable is. And you should be able to receive video from that. If you were to get like a cable like this, maybe it would work. I've gotten one that's passive before and I need to like look at this one to make sure it's right. Mm. It's risky. Eventually, assuming you get a new monitor at some point or a newer monitor, you'd want to have DisplayPort cables handy because that's the way of the future. This might actually be okay. That's an Acer. So I need to check the back of this one too, right? You know what? Let's do this. Let's add that one, and then let's drop this down to just one. Because the other monitor, the Acer, we need to make sure that has display port. Okay. Oh, chat. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, this one has an H HDMI in the back right now. Mm. Which means it'll have a display port too, right? Um, I mean, works. you could get display port to HDMI. Display port. So I need an HDMI to display port. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna can both of your display ports. Oh no. And we'll so we'll do that one that's to that monitor, and then we'll do a similar one that is. See the unidirectional. Let's stay away from that. So this is a good. Well, that's a two pack. We don't need to. These things are okay, but it's expensive for what you're getting because it's only DisplayPort 1.1. Um, I mean, let's see what this looks like. Okay, this is what you want. Okay. All right. So you have, and this is important, the direction, because the active and passive signal thing is kind of confusing. Okay. But what you want to have is things that are going to take active display port out from your graphics card to a passive analog display, in, in that case it's the Acer's. Mm -hmm. So you have one that's delivering DVI, so the white cable. Mm -hmm. You just replace the white cable with display port DVI. And then replace this cable. So with I'm not going to use the white. Am I going to use the white cables at all? 
You're not going to use the white cable. This is um, not it. Unless you had an adapter, it's not able to plug into that. So this, we're, we're going to have... So this, this, the one, this one right here is replacing the white cable. So this side is going to go into my... This is going to replace your other wing here. So I can unplug this white one and get rid of it. The cable, yeah. Yeah. Kudzu cables. First chat. Let's check chat. A lot of ass. Oh no, they didn't say that. That was me. <laughs> Don't forget to delete the system 32 files to clear the not needed AMD drivers. Lol. <laughs> Is that a troll? <laughs> okay. It's just people memeing. So we don't need that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, download more RAM, dis delete system 32. Download more RAM. Drag my computer into the recycling bin. There's some other ones. There's some good some good memes out there. Matt learning. Yes. This is this is me learning. Let's get cool, Joe's on. Let's That's get great. a zoom in on that. Oh my goodness, hi. I'm Glenn. Hi, I'm Good to meet you. Oh, hey, Kendall, Glenn, Glenn yeah. Kendall. Sorry, I'm just in here tinkering with devices. <laughs> I've heard. Um, I just want to say hi. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> we we literally just finished. Yeah, we're, so we're figuring out what to buy with all the new gear. Well, it's just a couple of cables. So it's all set up? And well, then... For the most part, it's good. But well, nothing, nothing came on. So, like, the computer's on, but this isn't... Nothing's working. Are you worried about it? The computer's on? Yeah, computer's Are you on. sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's take a look. <laughs> um, people are saying <laughs> hi to you. Uh oh, um, what happened? You gotta plug the graphics card power cable in there, Glenny. Oh. Hey. Okay. Hey. <laughs> hey. Right, so we're pushing this back up. Are we so, unplugging everything? No. We're turning it off. Okay. Oh, how you doing? How's the food? Are we happy with it? Um. It's not. Oh no. The no, it's I'm so good. Sorry. <laughs> it's good. It's not the best that I've ever had. Mm -hmm. But it's good. Okay. It's good. I'm excited to eat it. Thank you for getting it. Hey, that ought to do it. <laughs> After I plug the GPU back in, I just put the uh, cover on it. Oh uh, yeah. So simple oversight, but so I'm, like, I'm like looking at the in, cable and I'm like, I just in there. Oh yeah. Does it need its own? So it needs its own power. It has so power. So it plugs in down there. No, 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 no. no. <coughs> the power supply. <coughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry. <clears throat> so the power supply has a cable that supplies power to the graphics card. Mm -hmm. And I plugged that in initially, and then when we realized we needed to plug the NVMe in, I unplugged it, and then got distracted and never... Plugged it back in, so. Gotcha. Oops, a daisy. So there was no chance for it to turn on. Okay. A lot of drama. A lot, a lot of drama. Much ado about nothing.
Join the MSI reward program now. Has anyone ever read one of these instruction ma manuals? Is that quick user's guide? You consider yourself a quick user? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> No, that's just a joke on like their wording. Man, I might use this as like an envelope. This is a really nice envelope. Put, like a in mail stuff. Yeah. In person, for in person eight MSI. Yeah, why not? Matt, that's like asking if we've ever read, read terms and conditions. As a no. Yeah. We're so close. We're so close, Jen. Yeah. Where's chat? Life! Uh-oh. Is it happening? Is it working? It's happening, but your, your computer really wants to boot to the NVMe and not your thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to hard reset. Here, okay. take chat. Cool. We gotta reboot, but it wants to boot to the NVMe. Okay. So, we're gonna have to. What does that mean? Catch post. Look at him working that sweet finger magic. You have, I mean, with with SSDs, they boot so fast, like it posts and then immediately goes to the OS. And if you don't have your boot device ready. It's like, okay, you fucked up. Good luck, <laughs> asshole. Chat knows a lot about this, too. This no, is... I have to do it again. Macro, macro. <laughs> Look at that APM. Build that Zergling. <laughs> yeah, Glenn, Glenn main Zerg. I was Protoss. Son of a monkey's uncle. We'll get there. We're almost there. We'll it's going to happen. We'll get there. Third time's a charm? We're so close. Why wouldn't it? Because I didn't okay, actually get to the BIOS. All right, it worked. Original disk with or original boot was a spinny disk. I had to change the SSD earlier this year. Now I got to change it again when I get my NVMe. It's it's honestly like you guys are speaking a different language. Also, do you see what my monitors are sitting on? Any any HP fans here? HP in the house. Oh, Hugh, Harry Potter? H Hewlett Packard? Harry Potter action? Oh. <laughs> how how we feel when you talk chess. Okay, fair. 
<laughs> that is so fair. I watched you play chess and I was like, okay. <laughs> Uh, do you guys see this chair? I'll tell you the story of the chair. Maribel, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a good night. Everyone wish Maribel a good night. Oh, the London. Yes, I'm familiar with that. I've seen TV from the UK. <laughs> Sopa 101, welcome. Welcome to the movers. Thanks for following. Two more followers and we get 1111. 1111. That's pretty cool. Am I good to buy all this stuff, Glenn? Do we have like a final order? I mean, that's it. Right there. Okay. So we got the USB port, we got the adapter, and we got another adapter. All for $60 hairs. Not bad. Overnight delivery. It's going to arrive tomorrow morning. We love that. We love Prime. Um, also, do we love the Prime credit card? Yes, we do. 5% cash back on every purchase. Wild. I would not have been able to do whatever you're doing right now. I'm just checking to see if it's picking up your NVMe or not. Because what we need to do is be able to tell your computer what to boot. So right now it's going to boot and it says reboot and select proper boot device because it sees your nvme oh it's trying to do it through nothing that on it instead of the other one right and when i go to the bios it's not seeing your ssd for whatever reason so <clears throat> try again so i can't use it as like secondary no you can okay. we just have to tell your motherboard to do it Gotcha. Right now your motherboard's like, oh, let me get the first thing I see. Right, right. The strong, powerful one. That should be holding everything, probably. Um, a suggestion from chat, blow on it and plug it back in. <laughs> uh, it says you might have to format it. Yeah, but you should be able to boot to another device. Without having a format. Like in the boot menu. Well, let me just load up the boot menu. I 
Let's just cheer. No. Easy mode. We want that. <laughs> See, easy mode is like just observational stuff. Okay. <laughs> Dashboard. But here's the here's the problem is it's not seeing your Windows boot manager. So like what you have here is the new SSD, which is in a prime position because it's in the NVMe slot. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Windows boot manager setup that's already window, basically your Windows installation on your SSD. Mm -hmm. And we want to be able to switch that, but for some reason, what is it saying? Shift plus arrow. Okay. Hey, did it work? Did we fix it? Let's fucking go. Let there be boot up. Maybe. Hold breath. <laughs> this looks normal. Well, that's post. That's the post screen. Yeah, see. It wanted to do it and then it didn't. Hold on. Because that was it. It's just not prioritizing your SSD. And your I'm turning system. purple, holding my breath. I don't want him to have the same issue I had. Uh-oh, what was that, Kyle? Are your old drives still plug plugged in? Oh, no, wait, Matt. Are your old drives still plugged in? Um, I guess so. I assume so. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle, what, what problem did you have? Do we need to call you right now? Did you already solve this problem? Yeah, call real quick. Okay. <laughs> the problem is on the boot priorities, it doesn't even see it as a boot option. It only sees the new drive, which is not not optimal. Okay. Matt. Yes. Hello? Okay. So um I had this issue when I installed because you ordered the same thing I did. I had this issue where when I left my old drives plugged in while installing the new one, it kept wanting to boot off the old drives. Even when I put, I used a USB boot manager on it when I was installing Windows on the new drive. Um, and once I finally got it installed and booted, it was still, even though I had the boot priority order set right, it was booting off of my old drive and then running the OS off the new drive. So I would recommend unplugging the old drives entirely while you're trying to do this. Um, I don't, what, what boot manager way are you guys doing? So oh, where did you, you put the boot manager on? So that's what I'm trying to do is the BIOS is telling me it only sees one drive when both are plugged in. Is and it only seeing the old one or the new one? I believe it's only seeing the new one because there's no Windows boot installed. And so after it, get, it gets past post, when it goes to boot Windows, it's like, oh, that's not a valid boot device because there's literally nothing on it right now. Um, it, what are you, um, are you trying to boot with the old hard drive and then install Windows on the new one from that? Or how are you trying to do it? I was just trying to add a drive. I thought it was just going to boot to the SSD that he had already Windows installed. And then he could use the NVMe as a place to install games and shit to have, like, fast access. That's ideal. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'm wondering whether the motherboard is having some weird priority with these SATA drives. Or yeah, that that's what I'm thinking is that there's some interaction, but and I'd have to read the motherboard manual a little bit closer, but I'm thinking that because there's an NVMe drive installed, it might blank out the SATA port that he's using. Because, you know, I know I'm on Twitch, so right now... The terms master and slave SATA ports is not going to jive well. But that's what they <laughs> called it at the time. Right. A NVMe 
is going to take over the PCI lanes that the slot SATA zero port would probably take. So it, it's it's the master drive. And so it's not even seeing the SATA. So what I'm going to try and do is power it off and change the SATA port that his Windows installed SSD is in, boot up again. Hopefully the BIOS sees it and chooses it, or at least allows me to choose it as the boot drive, and then we're good. Okay, yeah, that's a different issue than I dealt with. That sounds like the right approach, though. Good luck. Um, if all else fails, I'd say just go for, like, find a USB and put the boot manager on it and install a Windows fresh on the new drive. Because you, you'll still be able to access all the old files, but, I mean, cause that's how I did it. I still have my old drives plugged in after I installed, and even though they still have Windows on them, it's using my primary drive but yeah yeah i think your i think your approach is the right way to do it well i'm just gonna try that because we aren't even at the point of installing windows on anything because windows is already installed all i was trying to do is literally plug and play and we're not getting the play so i'm gonna re-plug all right well good luck i won't take up any more phone time <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks right, kyle thanks Uh, you'll, Dude, Kyle, you'll see why. It uh, sounds so much like you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was talking to uh, Matt version too. All right. Basically. Okay. Nothing easy. Nothing easy. Yeah, it can't just happen, right? No. Nope. That's that's why I always feel like I need support with this kind of thing. Well, because if you no did that, idea then you'd be what like. No idea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can get to it from here. Bless, Bless you. you. Thank you. My daughter right now, anytime anybody see, sneezes, is like saying, Bless you. It's oh, like that's so cute. The cutest thing ever. <laughs> Little Layton. I want to meet her. Yeah, she's stupid cute right now. <laughs> It's unfair. It's like a cheat code. Well, it. I didn't think I was gonna have a hard time with it, but I'm having a hard time with it. So, chat. Remember Cut. when Matt asked if anybody reads the motherboard uh, manual? I do. <laughs> and it's for reasons like this. <laughs> well, Kyle, Kyle said, uh, "Pray, what are you doing? You give them five subs just just because, just out of pity? <laughs> Do you pity us?" <laughs> he was seeing a lot of ass. <laughs> yeah, Tia, Tia's a goat. Tia was at the actual event on Sunday. Yo, welcome, Frackers, Alkaline, Lurk. E. McClurk, Val Sharaf, Austin Mino. Yo, Prey, thanks for the generosity. Prey jumping into the lead. Jumping in the lead for the week. She might get a spot on that Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's in Sata Port Zero. And I bet you that's a problem. Alright, so we made the swap. I'd right. love to see it. Pity subs, LOL. That's what it was. <laughs> Alright, so all I did was change the SATA port, which is over. You see this guy right here? Yeah. It was in position zero. I changed it over to position one. Oops. Okay. No. See, it still wants to do it. It still wants to do it because the NVMe takes over the PCI lanes. The reason why I'm talking about PCI lanes so much is it's like a decision tree for the. Without any like, other operating system, the it's motherboard... It's like order operations. It's going to do multiplication and division before it does addition and subtraction. Exactly. So we need to foil that shit. Okay. Remember that from arithmetic. We, we, need, we need parentheses for the addition. Uh, let's try that easy mode. Is it still not seeing it?
that's the boot sequence we want. Okay. And save an exit. Let me see if I can go to classic. Why is it not showing here? Because when I go to easy mode. So so save an exit here and then go back to so easy mode. So here's the boot sequence. That's desirable. When we save and exit, save and exit. Now watch it try to boot to Windows. Do it right. No, see, it's gonna put, it's gonna do it again. But you see how this boot device is like. Maybe that. Doesn't. See, it's like blanked out. There's a boot device there. And it's like, nope. I can enter the setup for it. Go to the BIOS, go to boot options. And there isn't. Can we disable that? Uh, can we just have it completely ignore CT2000? Johnny said, could it be that you said earlier the NVMe drive is PC LE4 and the motherboard isn't compatible with that, so it's just messing up your PCI bus? Do you want to read this? This might make a lot more sense to you. Matt just heads up that the new drive is 10 times faster than your old SSD. Dude, my, my computer boots up so fast as is, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It's like less than five seconds. My computer's ready to go. Yeah, Johnny One Tap. I think you're on to something there, bud. I'm gonna try one more SATA port. So worst case scenario, do we just need to like format the new one with Windows and then start booting up on that? Uh, <laughs> your definition of worst case scenario is a lot less worse than mine. <laughs> your worst case scenario is that if you want that NVMe drive you got to work, you either need to get a different NVMe drive or you just go ahead and bite the bullet and get a new motherboard that supports that drive. But it plugs into it. Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't it work in it? <laughs> you know Is that a stupid question? <laughs> I can provide you a couple of examples of why that's <laughs> unfortunately not the case. No! So you can grab the motherboard model and the SSD model and find out for you. Yeah, so he's got a Gigabyte AB350. I believe it's a Gen 1 motherboard. We've plugged into the PCI slot, uh, the NVMe slot that's just below the primary PCI. Boot from it in Legacy. That's helpful because I can change the mode Okay. Let's give it a rip. Go to UEFI. Yep, got it. Yep, that's so. I was about to change that, but I didn't want to really bang around in there without confidence. Of course, I was looking at chat and I missed it, so we got to reboot again. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. Uh, Van Q. If you can grab the motherboard model and SSD, I'll find out for you. Thanks, man. Q86. They're already on it. Okay, they're on it. Hey, crushies, welcome to the movers. UEFI. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this is all a different language to me. I'm so glad I have you, Glenn, so, and you, Chad. <laughs> so here's what he's talking about. 
when I was talking about UEFI and legacy, legacy is very much a like, what is hardwired into the motherboard that I do not have to go through the chipset for. UEFI is something that is on the chipset, on the motherboard. And there's something called a CMOS or a BIOS, which is flashed onto the motherboard hardware that runs at a sub-layer. So when you boot, the motherboard's like, all right, what the fuck's connected to me right now? Mm. What do I do? And the UEFI is smart enough to know, hey, don't just go to the first drive you see. In fact, look for other drives so I can at least see them in the BIOS to choose them on boot. So what I'm gonna mm. do is all I change this is storage boot option control to UEFI only. I'm gonna okay. save that. Okay. Are we making progress? Is this gonna work? I don't know. It's NVMe and SATA compatible. Wait, are, Kyle, are you just sending me a new motherboard that I have to buy? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, that does solve a lot of problems. <laughs> okay, all right. I'd rather be able to use my computer between now and whenever the new motherboard arrives. I'm not opposed to buying a new motherboard, but... I mean, here's the alternative. That's your motherboard. That's not a new one. Oh, good. Okay. All right, then Then we're confirmed. It can work. Still not seeing it. So I've got storage boot option control on UEFI only, and then other PCI device ROM priority UEFI UEFI only enabled. I'm still not seeing it. So is the NVMe device? Is it a new? And you're just trying to boot to the SATA. That's correct. Uh, Vank eighty six. Vank eighty six seems confident. I think. I think. Uh... What is that snowflake that he has? Direct Relief Charity 2018. Oh, okay. Um, I'm looking on this board. Would it help for any reason to enable the network stack? Or the LAN PXC boot option? Oh, Reddit. Oh, Reddit. <laughs> Reddit's been there before. Kyle says, oh shit, wait. We're waiting, Kyle. The MOBO is the only PCIe Gen 3. Okay. And that's a PCI 4.0 drive. Okay. Yeah, we might have to take that drive out. Have you done a BIOS flash in a little while? Dude, I have no idea what that is. Do you know what that is? BIOS flash? Yeah, I don't know what firmware he's running on his BIOS. I don't know what his BIOS version is. I can check, but I hardly imagine that's the issue just because 
Okay, I Kyle. Just, Kyle saying it just runs at PCIe three speeds. Do we just need to unplug that new extra storage and then it'll all work? Let me change other PCI to legacy only and then try this. Because this is what I'm reading. <gasps> is this it, Chad? Movers, are we going to do it? PCI 4 drives are backwards compatible to PCI 3, though. Okay. I spent hours figuring mine out. Well, let's hope that isn't the case here. Uh, by the way, if you see this G and this Georgia and that dog, it's because Glenn and I went to Georgia together and we won the national championship this year. And honestly, it's not looking too bad for this year. Not looking too bad. Uh, Johnny One Tap says, yeah, I would assume they should be backwards compatible, but I don't know about that that's about where my knowledge ends okay backwards backwards compatible would make sense why would they make it like obsolete oh to sell more of their own stuff so that we have to upgrade in order to use things like apple i guess that would make sense Yeah, I need to move your SATA port again. Okay. So, there's two slots on the side of that motherboard that, um, you don't have to do that all that. I think I can get to it right here. Okay. Or at least I hope I can without taking the back of your shit off. Y'all, uh, let's get some hearts in the chat for, for Glenn, for persevering. Snacks Baltista with a with a first comment in a while saying OSU gonna be tough. Yeah, they're gonna be tough, but UGA is gonna be pretty tough too. I don't know. I don't know how tough they're gonna be. That's right, Zippos, Zippos knows what's up. OSU's a walk in the park. We're getting the finals. Let's go. You're getting some kitty cats and some hearts, Glenn. Zippus and I are Michigan fans. Oh, okay, good to know. Ideally, there might be some unknowns in there. Unknown? Are we talking football, college football, or are we talking about what Glenn's doing right now? Is that a little cat dancing prey? Where's that from? Oh, QTC jammies. Okay, so Cutie Cinderella. I see. Yo, we are one follow. If you're watching and you aren't following, we are one follower away from one 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 one. That's just such a cool number. We should do that. Oh, look at that one, Zippos. What's that from? Oh, that's from Cutie Cinderella too. Those are cool. I like those. Come on, computer. 
Wait, Prey, is that a chess-related cutie Cinderella? Is that Pepe playing chess? What up, bitches? Is it working? No, it isn't. Did you fix it? Is it happening? Are you around, boys? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, big connect? <laughs> Is it happening? Okay, if you have a Gigabyte AB350 motherboard and you plug in something to the NVMe slot, you need to change your SATA ports. There's four SATA ports that use the same PCI lanes that get blanked out when you plug in an NVMe. What had happened was we were not using the right cluster of SATA ports. <laughs> the SATA ports are lower on the motherboard and they go through the UEFI, they go through the chipset, <laughs> and I am sorry that oh, took so long. All this is messed up though. Why is all this Because that's a graphics card um, um, uh, drivers. This looks we weird. Didn't... Okay. All right, yeah, I'll yeah, be yeah, done yeah, with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you have to get the drivers installed. It's like, it's like a child again. You have to. This looks terrible. You have to teach it to walk. Okay. <clears throat> um, where's your other? Uh, Why isn't this one? You know. Let me put your uh, case thing back on. Wait, wait. Are we sure we want to do that already with? Like this stuff not working? Or yeah. Yeah, just hold. That's fine. Okay. Here, if you go to click this little sliver right here. Go to settings. Go to Oops. Wow. Yeah, I've I've used those. <laughs> wow, where is your? I don't even. This this is the same one that you got me with the first build. Wow. I've been using this for like, man, almost ten years. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Might be time for an upgrade, huh? I couldn't even tell where the D key was. Let me put this on and then we'll proceed. Closer chat. This is good. MSI 3060 Ti. No internet. I didn't plug the Ethernet cable back in. Oh no. The internet. Did it drop? Or no, I got it right here. Uh, Matt, when's the subathon? Uh, we need to build a computer first. Uh, fir first step computer, second step, figure out when subathon is. <laughs> not gonna lie, that leather chair looks incredible. Thanks. Yes, it's it doesn't it's not as comfortable as it looks, <laughs> but it is very cool. I, I I'm like delaying as much as possible having to like sell it or get rid of it, but I cannot sit in it anymore. It uh it is ultra bad for my hips and back and neck. What monitors am I running? Hopefully something more than sixty hertz. Um I think the two main monitors are more than sixty hertz. But I'm not sure that the two acers are. They might not be. That's a negative. Okay. That church screams, sit in me, sit in my study sipping a nice scotch and smoking a cigar. Yeah. No, no, no. That's totally the, the vibe of the chair. Yes. But it's not like a sit in that chair all day and game kind of chair. 
chat if you want to uh, learn other cool installation techni techniques. This is a ventilator for your beer can. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's if you have big lips like Matt and I, and you're, you lip lock the, the thermal throttle of the can, and you really want to get the glug glug going. <clears throat> so what we're doing is we're installing some drivers, and going to get it to understand that it's no longer using an AMD card, it's using an NVIDIA card, which requires GeForce experience to detect all the monitors, and then... GeForce! I feel like that could have been your gamer tag. Could have been. But it's Grogus. Grogus is way cooler. Um, so earlier, like an hour ago, you asked <laughs> These me, guys really did go to UGA after seeing you <laughs> slam that thing into the beer can. <laughs> Airflow for your beer. <laughs> hey, I care about performance. Okay, I don't know Hell where... <laughs> yeah, go dogs! We were at number one party school in the nation when we were there. <laughs> Did you tell the chat how we met? Uh, no, you should tell that story, though. Okay. Yeah, we, we met at a fraternity rush party. <laughs> like, before school even started, actually. Before freshman year. It's like a week before school. It's going to make you sign up for this, by the way. Oh, hold on. What about the sign up? Hold on. It's going to detect this, computer, this monitor. Or maybe it's this monitor. Hey. Oh, okay. So it's this one that I need to get the um, thing for. So it installed the driver, but this is actually a pretty good app, but it makes you use like a login, so you might want to create a login. Yeah. Um, so yeah, chat, let me take you down memory lane uh, at UGA. So Matt and I went to high school in Georgia in high schools that hated each other. And then we went to UGA and there were people that we both knew from different parts of the world that wanted us to join this fraternity. So we ended up at the same parties and we were sitting across from each other with our feet on the same keg. <laughs> and we were basically absolutely thrashing each other with like how we had a like tarred and feathered effigy of one another that we were kind of lambasting. And then the more we got to know each other, the more that we weren't each other's stereotype. It was just, we were, uh, I guess learning about why we weren't those stereotypes. And anyway, through kind of tearing each other down, we built each other back up and we thought, you know what, instead of hating each other, why don't we just, hang out and get to know each other more and have fun um so matt joined the fraternity okay, these, i was these, in the these, fraternity these, these, for these one are, day these are a lot of big words to say we, we were talking shit to each other all night and drinking and laughing yeah and then became because like, we were best making friends. each other laugh <laughs> for, for, we were making each other laugh yeah and through all that we decided you know what let's just hang out and i so he joined the fraternity. I walked on the baseball team. And anyway, our paths kind of diverged a little bit after school. But here we are. And uh, we've converged again. And this, this is a representation of the journey he's been on. Including uh, Atlanta's Best Bodies 2017. Oh, come on. We don't need it's to see that. It's a one-way street to the Best Bodies of Jezebel. We, we don't need to see that. Really? <laughs> I do. Hold on. Do we want to see the Best Bodies of 1990-something? I don't know. Is that, <laughs> is that... Are we going to get banned? Oh, <laughs> dude, 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 what are you doing? Is that... Is, are we going to get banned? Are we going to get put know, on a list? Might be. We're going to put on a list? Damn, dude. I consent. Is uh, that does that matter? <laughs> oh, because I did it. Because I did it. Maybe that's not good. Maybe that's not good. <laughs> okay, I, I just verified the email address. Continue. Continue. If you're looking for a collection of books with white spines, these are it. Yep. That that's my white that's my white book spine shelf. <laughs> 
Okay, are we are we good? I think you're good. So here's what I would do. Let me show the chat your your okay. without incriminating you in any way. I'm gonna keep looking over here. Alright, so this is pretty low risk. So we have 1080 by 1200, which is one of my favorite resolutions. Matt, in the future, take this monitor, flip it portrait, because a portrait monitor with 1200 pixels, as opposed to 1080, which is true, um, let's say HD, allows it to have that much more width where you can render like full page wedge pages, web pages in Discord and stuff. Um, this one is... So you're saying flip this one this way. See the difference between these? There's 1080 and then there's 1200. Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. This thing is hard to maneuver. 1080, 1200. I'm, I'm right down here for those in the chat. 1080, 1200 is the sweet spot for portrait monitors. And this Dell is hitting it. But anyway, we're looking pretty good. So you're ready to you're ready to rock and roll. No one snitch. <laughs> no one snitch. Okay. Terms of service. Hey yo, yeah, exactly. I don't know how many glizzies he had at that age, but wait, so we're good. Okay, this looks a lot better. This looks back to like. There's so many buttons on this thing. Yeah. yeah. This is wild. It just keeps rotating so smoothly. It's, yeah, it's a gimbal. So a it, gimbal. It won't, uh... I'll show you a gimbal oh, right here. Here's a gimbal. Okay, I think I can figure out how to connect the displays. Inception? Chatception? This is... Coming at you live from the back of Matt's head. <laughs> okay. Um, switch account to... It's a fun little tour of the room, by the way. Uh, we broke 250 subscribers on YouTube. Cool. That happened pretty quick. That's back when they used to put cocaine in it. <laughs> Way back in time. That's a... <laughs> hey yo. Nook saying you didn't he didn't know you can get them in nineteen twenty and twelve hundred. Dude, that's the sweet resolution. Yeah? That's a sweet resolution. That's why it's my main monitor. I like that one. Well, so you see how you have this one in portrait? Like having this main one in portrait and then having it like twelve hundred pixels wide is the hotness. In fact, if you if you did do any sort of modification to this, I might put your main <laughs> monitor here over there. This one over here? Just do a swap one for one. Because this is 240. This is a VH240 HP. I think that goes up to 240 hertz and might have a higher refresh rate. I don't know that. I'm just looking at what I'm seeing and guessing. Oh, yeah? Anyway, this is your stream. Okay. I, don't I don't know what to do. I've just been looking around your room. Yeah, cool. That's fine. <laughs> so, so we're back footy. operational. Yeah, 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 Matt played footy. Sorry. We ordered stuff. Sorry, I'll put that back up there. Matt played uh, footy. Look at those legs, dude. Yeah, that was that was high school and, that was and back, early college, man. That was before I started boxing. That was back when he could literally kick ass. Now he punches Um, up. And we got, uh, look at these. Look at these. Look at these. That's a, that's a, a champ, state champ, champion. Champ. State he only champion. Knows success. And then state runner up, state runner. No, I lost. Oh, you lost? I twice. lost twice, won twice. But we went to state all four years. So that's pretty good. And this is the world championship one. Hey. And then these are other boxing ones from like amateur fight nights. True blue American story. Nook OC knows what's up. The gold. Hey. <laughs> Well, that's international gold. Um, he I really haven't done. I, I really haven't done many like tour stuff. Okay, so you saw all these little like knickknacks. Yeah, I kind of did a little knickknack. Um, anyway. A friend stole this for me on my twenty first birthday. That's Thomas Street. 
Uh, so I did not commit a fel- felony for this. I just received the received felony it, for yeah, this. Yeah, you received it. That's the Forbes feature. That's the men's book feature. Look at me in a tux punching stuff. That's Muhammad Ali as an action figure. This is the popcorn we didn't eat. There's a PCI or a DVI cable we, we're not going to use. Yeah, that's that's going to get trashed. That's, well, that's great decor. Yeah, okay, it's, it's decor. Good to know. <laughs> we got Buddha. We got... Uh, some some yoga doing army men. How about it? That was one of my favorite Christmas gifts like three years ago. Uh, I commentated for Nordic chess boxing. I got a 30 under 30 award. That's a very old iPod. <laughs> Little look at history there. Uh, we got... The 2019 World Championship, that's the one that I lost and then started commentating in. Um, what is this one? Oh, that's Team USA captain for chess boxing. I, I collect chess sets, so that's a chess set. That's a chess set. Down there's a chess set. That's a chess set. We got all chess sets everywhere. Um, yeah. And then that's you guys. <laughs> Inception. Ah! That's a little tour of my room. The good old days. Did you get Modern Warfare on Steam or Blizzard? Fastest Rubik's Solve time? I have not done it for, like, speed. Um, Pass back by those credit cards for me. Oh, God. (laughs) Yeah, I probably just divulged so much personal information. Office 4W. Yep. Did you ask? Did you install Modern Warfare on Steam or <gasps> Battle.net? Oh, shit. It's here. It's happening. Did you do it on, on Battle.net? Or I think I did it on Steam? Steam. I did it on Steam. Oh. Oh, dude, your floor almost. Yeah, you feel it. Oh, my God. <laughs> The popcorn bucket almost fell over. <laughs> you did steam for cod, yeah. Good call. Tia, Tia watching our bag. Tia remembering. All right, he's got a little update. Of course, once you update, then you load it up, then it'll update again. Oh, is that how it works? I don't know. I just heard fun things. It looks way better. Um, I mean, we did just upgrade like massively in terms of, of our graphics capabilities. So you don't need the Radeon software anymore. So I'm going to uninstall okay. that. Okay. Yeah, delete it. What's that? You have Google Fiber? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it goes fast. Yeah, I just did this. Speed check? Is it good? Screen for five. Office 4W, touring. Oh my god, it happened. Jimmy Korek. Dude, you're the 1111 follower. 
Jimmy, are you in chat? You should say something. You did it. Look at his belly button. You hit it. Belly button. Eleven eleven. Belly button show for the for the babes out there. Jimmy. I'm, I'm not gonna show my belly button for the record. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy did it. What a moment. What a what a what a day. What a time to be alive. So we got a graphics card improvement, but we got two monitors down as a result of this <laughs> technological plan okay. we've entered. No, no, no. We're going to fix it tomorrow. It, it's arriving between 7 and 11 a.m. So before before afternoon tomorrow, we'll be good. Yeah, so you'll be able to swap that. So we're updating that. Everything will be over here on the other monitor, which will be great because your Twitch and Discord... You know, you can switch between that tonight and then tomorrow you'll be able to have all of those. You don't have to do the monitor swap, that was just a wild hair idea. But it's working. And we figured out that motherboard issue because that was like, that threw me for a loop. So you know what happened, chat? I had to pull up the motherboard manual online and read through the schematics of the PCI lanes to confirm my hunch. And I was just trying different SATA ports until I was like, oh, there's a cluster down here I haven't tried. <laughs> uh, we were thought to use the answer. Oh my God, Not wait a minute. I just realized, AG, are you still here? Yeah. AG, I had a shirt the whole time that was Mad Cat Boxing. Supreme. That you just recreated. I thought you were trying to use it as a boot service. He's Not storage. He's clean. Yeah, Tom. Tom, the producer. Yeah. Look, Java. We, Java we, just did it. Look, it's like the same as my shirt. Tom, we may, we may, um, use it as a boot device in the future, but temporarily we just wanted to boot up with the device installed, and use the existing as his boot device because it was already Windows installed. I mean, if you want to build subscribers on a on a Twitch channel, you don't install Windows on a new device. <laughs> Way to drive you. Let's YouTube. watch paint dry. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see a blue screen where we punch in a GUID? <laughs> well, we got there. We got booted up. We almost have Warzone done. Yeah. All right, you should um, you should keep this box with the documentation and these dust covers okay this dust cover goes over the pci slot that goes into the motherboard these dust covers came from the ports like display port whatever okay. you're going to be using all ports so i took out all port dust caps mm -hmm. so nothing is covered up but you want to keep those okay in case you ever move if you move that if you do a moving with matt move take the gpu out put it in there Put it in the box. Move the box. Instead of just moving this whole thing? Because of GPU sag, when you have a big GPU with a big radiator, okay. if you are driving and it sags, then it can I want to take break the PCI slot. You just want to take a heavy card out. I do that as like a precautionary measure. Okay. Not everybody does that and it's fine, but... That's why I'm saying keep the box, because it's good. Like, you see how much protection it has. Sure. You could fucking toss that, and it'd be fine. Okay. But if you tossed your rig, not fine. Don't <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're putting this back in here. And You're taking that. Okay, I'll take that, but I don't need the static bag. You should probably just keep that. So you've okay. got something to put it in. Okay. Um, this goes in there. Keep this on. Um, I don't, that's trash, you don't need that. And then I think there's the envelope with the stuff, but you want to be using the envelope or no? <laughs> that's a good Yeah, that goes on top. Okay. It's, a nice, it's a cute little card. It's a cute, it's a cute little card. <laughs> It's a history lesson. <laughs> this Hard used to be good when I bought it. <laughs> Hard. I mean, hey, time moves on. Good cooling solution, but you see there's so much PCB compared to the cooling solution. It's kind of 
interesting how now the PCB is smaller, but the cooling solution is so much bigger. Product of China. Let's see if we can boot up Warzone now. Yeah, so previously he had DisplayPort, HDMI, HDMI, DVI, and now he's having to adapt for DisplayPort, 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 HDMI on the new card. Five eighty slap for its time? Yeah, true. Very true. <laughs> I mean, that's why he was like, oh, it's a shitty car. No, it's not. It's a good car. So what can you sell that for? I don't know. Okay. I'm not I'm not planning on selling it. I'll probably put it in a zombie rig. Really? I have like, Oh hell yeah. I have so many computer parts that I could GPU driver version does not meet the recommended. So What? Okay. So hold on, hold on. No. All right, so what it wants you to do is go to that um, GeForce Experience. What I don't, what, what is that? Just hit Windows and go to GeForce Experience, hit enter. Okay, go to Drivers. Well, skip the tour. Drivers, and then download. this. The latest driver is always the one at the top of the list. Okay. The cool thing about NVIDIA that doesn't always happen with everybody is through this app, whenever there's a big game that drops, usually NVIDIA partners with the game developer to provide the most optimized driver for that AAA title. It's good to know. Or, or any game that, whether it's quote-unquote AAA or not, Chances are, if it's a major step in technical implementation of what a graphics card can do, NVIDIA has a new driver for you. So the shitty part about COD is, because COD is one of those bleeding edge games, every time there's a graphics card uh, driver update, the game is going to tell you, hey, by the way, <laughs> the new driver updated, make sure you use the latest and greatest. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? So it's... Um, this is one of those things that's going to show up in your bottom left. Let's see the little carrot that's pointing up. Let's Click see. that. It is this app with, you see the little magnifying glass on it? See how it says there's a game driver ready for update? It's yeah. already telling you in that little preview gotcha. that you needed to update, but you've already just done that. So, so express installation? Um... Or my Did dumb. you just download it? Yeah. Hit custom. Oh, it's trying. All right, let's see if it downloaded. I think I downloaded it, right? Pretty sure. First ever Warzone game? <gasps> oh my god. Is it happening? <laughs> you know what's frustrating? When your Acer 144 Hz isn't compatible with the new 37 Ti, because only one display, one DVI, and the other one's display port only. That's this. That's what's happening. That's what happens with... So that's the tough part about going from, and I won't say budget card, but like a high value card to another high value card <laughs> is what the definition of a good value card has changed with the time. Wait, it's, it, it's saying the same thing. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hit, hit X and stop loading the game. We, we didn't install it properly. You downloaded the driver, you didn't install it. But it's still happening. Yeah, because you hit continue. <laughs> Just um, hit escape a bunch of times until it... Or click. I don't, know what, I don't know what speeds up this load screen. Seems like it's working. Well, maybe it's Dude, this it's doesn't happen every time that we play the game, right? What do you mean? This is just like a first time? Have you ever loaded the game before? No. Oh, well, yeah, maybe it's going to make you watch this. Uh, 
why do I have normal audio? Is that on? Yeah. things you have to agree to. Three? Max. <laughs> I always turn it up. Oh, whatever. I create? I don't know if I have an account. Uh, I think you would probably need to make one. Yeah. The chat doesn't get to see that. <laughs> Instead, we get to see a very charming Skull Buddha arrangement in the Lotus. Look at these army men who are doing some serious stretches right here. So, all right, chat, name me these poses, because I think that's downward dog. <laughs> is this warrior two? This is lotus, scorpion, warrior one, uh, fart on your friend, <laughs> fart on your neighbor, and... Um, the, the Hershey squirt wall sit. Um, meanwhile, this is the, what is that? Uh, the about to kung fu on your ass pose. I don't know what those are. It shows you how much I know about the flow part of fight and flow. Okay, are you done typing in passwords and shit? No, it's making me guess an old password. Guess? Interesting. Here's another piece of art that I find interesting. There's a lot of art in here that has... Oh, my little sister did that. Oh. Caitlin did that. You'd think she did acid, right? Mm, <laughs> I wasn't going to go there, but okay. here we are. So we're, we're going through it. We're going through account issues. Of course. More art in the room. I just don't want to show email addresses. Why isn't this working? Hmm. Do you have an Activision account? The internet just like shot the bed for a second. Did it? Seems like it. Chad, are we good? Music's not going well. It's not. Play email address. Go. Have you created one? Yeah, it says this already has a, an account. I just don't remember the password. Uh, okay, I'm just going to create a new one. Get out of here. Get out of here. What is happening, dude? Am I just stuck now? Shift tab. Okay. Cancel. Create account. The old shift tab menu on Steam got him again. So, Matt, you asked me. Um, I'm going to stall. For, for security yeah, purposes. Um, you asked me what it was that I did for work or something, or why it was that I was interested in 
Yeah, like education and what you do for work. So now UGA finally decided to have a school of computing, but at the time UGA didn't really have a computer science department that was too big. So, in fact, it was smaller than the law school. And you did UGA law for a time, right? Mm-hmm. So now it's much larger than the law school because it's such a high demand degree. But did computer science, kind of got interested in the nerd side of life. Um, I work at NASDAQ now. So doing a lot of API and data handling work, back end stuff with product. But I think we're in. I think it looks like we're Actually. in. Imagine if someone just like filmed you playing COD, like, look at that oh, headshot! Oh my god! <laughs> Am I sure I want to uninstall the AMD driver? Yes, hit yes. Yeah, I uninstalled his AMD drivers because we have an NVIDIA card. You don't need that. That's uninstalling. Just let that let that ride. Lots of things going on. This little processor's beating as hard as it can go. Go, little guy, go! Are you trying to get your audio working? Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work. Usually I use this one to plug my headphones in and out. Right, but you're not hearing anything, so. Yeah. Let's go to the bottom right, right click. This one? And go to sounds. Just hit close, we'll uninstall, or, and then hit playback. And then scroll down, scroll down, real tech audio output, right click, right click, hit test. Okay, right click and hit test on that. Wow, that, that's a chill. Right click and set that as default. Right click and set it as default. There you go. And okay. Oh shit. It's happening. We have sound. <laughs> Do I have to watch all this? He has to watch this. Twelve years of coding for Fidelity, moved on to government contractor, just talk tax software. Yo, that's tight. Go Van86. Van Q86. Do you live in Vancouver? Were you born in 1986? Does he have to watch this cutscene? Al Mazra. Bank is short for Vanquish, not Vancouver. Okay. What's his monitor HD? I'm not sure. Yes, was born in 86. Cool. Okay. HZ. His monitor is a Dell Ultra Sharp. What it looks like is a 27 inch, I'd say a U2715, U2716. That's just a guess by looking at it. So what should I do? I don't know. This? I'm not going to stand here and hold Should I camera. play one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Should I play one? What if you do this? To try it? Does that jive? I think no. I think where I had it, right Sorry, there, I don't know where gets you both it. the, uh, yeah, right here. there. Gets both the screen and this. Okay. Should we try to play one? Just Are you able works? to stream on I your... just want to prove that it works. That, that like all of this was not in vain. Oh, okay. It. So go to settings, go to the settings cog, and go to graphics. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on, it's wanting to take you through it. Stupid. All right, go to settings, graphics. All right, so U2415. 
and we have a refresh rate of 60, uh, no V-Sync, let's keep scrolling down, and there's a couple optimizations to be had. Estimated VRAM usage about half his capacity, so I think you're going to be good. Okay. I thought there was like a, a so this is this is like, like a like PUBG a, version of it, right? Yeah, I thought there was like a benchmark. Okay, I'll probably die fast. So this, I thought there was a benchmark you could run, but so I should. Just I think this. you're ready to rock and roll, dude. I think you could hop on your computer stream. You know what I mean? I don't know if you have all the peripherals. Well, I'm, I'm going to call it once we prove that this is built. And then tomorrow is going to be the hype stream where I'm going to stream for like the day until yeah, I Yeah, you got to get all your, your camera and your lighting and all that stuff. Right, right. All right. So is this, is it working? What, continue? It's just okay, making continue. you go through all the like Find the guide stuff. You have Trade to, okay. You have, to, you have to check. Oh I will not God. say the N word. I will be very Rush. good. Okay. <laughs> like, the, seriously, that's what they say. It's very. Yeah. You don't have like a controller? Mm -hmm. Is it Like the AG design? I do I actually have this controller. controller. He has a controller, but I think we're going to try KVM. KVM is keyboard mouse. A max of 60, maybe Santa will never die for a French rate monitor. <laughs> Vank well, so, 86 is so, savage and definitely knows this stuff. Vank, That's <laughs> Vank 86, he's got an HP monitor that says VH240A here, which tells me that there's something that has to do with 240. I'm thinking it's refresh rate, which means maybe this HP that's in portrait mode could, be a, could be a hot swap beast. A could little. be a beast. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 120 hertz, exactly. I think the the sweet spot resolution right now with the value cards. Is so this, this is Rocket League with Halo vehicles in COD. <laughs> Chew on that. <laughs> is that real? Yeah, this is Why real. would they uh, do this? This is Halo Mongoose in COD, but Rocket League but Halo, but COD. Oh no, we got scored on. It's pretty wild. It might have been part of my fault. Wait, why am I, I don't, starting out I don't, crashing into my teammate? I honestly have... Oh no. I saw someone post a screenshot of this and I thought it was a mod, but the fact that they really built this is hilarious. This is a loading screen? No, this is a game type that you picked to play. No, I didn't. You call it's called Warzone Cup. Are you serious? And it's like World Cup, but it's a Halo mongoose essentially, or an ATV. This is so dumb. But Rocket League, <laughs> have you played Rocket League? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know Rocket League. But why? I I want to try shooting. I want to try the like. Oh, you could quit. Battle Royale version of. You could quit. But then I would be abandoning my team, right? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Oh my god, we get a score. His frames look pretty good, though. Is it working? It's working. Do we think the GPU is good? I think the GPU is good. Wow, how the ball. It's Rocket League without the lights, it's just League. <laughs> League of Duty. Call League, of, <laughs> League of Duty. Call of Halo. <laughs> Oh, Whoa. apparently you can throw little shot grenades or something. How? I don't know. I, I've never seen this in real life. So. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> Alright, can they see me playing this? <laughs> and how terrible I am? Kind of. Kind of. I moved the camera back, but if we want to... Elden Ring playthrough. Yeah, it's gonna epic. happen. Yeah, he's gonna do it. He's ready. Yeah, we 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 got the GPU now. Ball of Duty, yep, exactly. Ball of Duty. <laughs> Call of League, Ball of Duty. No. Son of a bitch. All right, how do I quit? 
Lee Lee game. game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, you How do, do I mini, pick? Mini trios, quads. So you picked Warzone Cup. Just don't pick Warzone Cup next time. What do I pick? There's a lot. I, maybe solos? Battle Royale solos? solos? Yeah. Is that it? Uh, if you want to play solo. Duos is two player, queue up, trios, three, four. But this gets me into like first person yeah, shooter, that's a shooter, PUBG. That's a shooter. Okay. You just happened to click the one thing that wasn't the, a shooter. The, the stupid. <laughs> of okay. all the things that could have gone wrong today, everything did. <laughs> <laughs> As is tradition. <laughs> Welcome to my week. <laughs> uh, yeah, Elden Ring is a fun is a fun game to. Oh, what is Get that? out of here! What is that? I hate this. What is? I got so many pop ups. What did you do? Did you, did you download more RAM? I just exited out of any pop ups. That yeah, I know. Up. What, what what was that pop up? It it was telling me to like update drivers. Is that some I, sort of security program? I don't know. Oh man. I don't know. Oh man. <laughs> chat, can we get an F in the chat for <laughs> random programs on Matt's computer? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might I might need a tune up. It's, yeah. He needs PC bunch of Fs. <laughs> he needs PC Matic. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Okay, first ever. Let's see if I get a kill. My only goal is to get all right, one kill. Alright, I'll do a I'll do the hand handy cam. Loot, get rid of cam X Streamed by okay. bandy cam right here with with the glare. Stations from the overhead. Okay. Eliminate opponents, escape the gas. Got it, G. Okay. You don't get a stream like this with like over the shoulder live action it's gimbal. Kinda cool, cam. right? See what his see what his crotch is doing if he's Nope, he's not yet stiff. Look at me go. Look at me go. My finger's going wild. Look at this. Look at this. This is the APM warm-up. That's why his keys need replacement. Oh, look at I look at look at me yeah, go. I'm, I'm gonna go to this here. little town. Deploy! Good. Oh my god, am I gonna die? Okay. Alright. This is his cod cherry. What? Uh, I already have this badass weapon? Well, I wouldn't call it badass yet. You haven't fired it. Oh! That's a grenade. <laughs> Just making sure everybody knows he's there. Can I open this? Okay. So we're on the hunt for some loot. Some better guns, some loot. Is there a second... Story? Come on. What is going on here? That was a preview. That was a print preview. What do you mean a preview? That was just getting everybody in the lobby. This is Matt on his way to kick some ass. Looking at everybody like, yeah, I'm about to drop. God, this gimbal is wild. Where is it going? There we go. First nade. <laughs> first nade. It's like okay. the first pitch Cap, in a baseball caps, game. Caps is how I drop? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Um, all right, we're going for Zarqua. We're going for Zarqua. I feel like a lot of people are probably going to go for Zarqua, no? Well, what do we think, chat? Uh, jump is, is space. Okay. It's the live look. This is the behind go. the scenes. We're going this way. We're going to Rohan Oil. I thought that was going to be a better angle. There's actually more glare, believe it or not. This is the best angle. Get there. Get there. I feel like I'm filming Dr. Respect. Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> no, Dr. <Doctor> respect. <laughs> oh, me? I'm yeah, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right, here we go. Let's focus on the gameplay. Where can I find weapons? Here? <laughs> so candid and intimate. I thought it was on Fansley. 
Fansly? Oh, God. <laughs> the hell is that? that? No, that's like an OnlyFans competitor. That that was the main sponsor of... Uh, oh, Sprint is... is, is I don't shift. even know okay. what Fansly is. I gotta play more. Don't know how to use it, but... I just want a fucking weapon. Okay, here. Here we go. Alright, what do I have? A bison and a shotgun. I, I, I'm i wielding the shotgun, though. Hold on. 12 gauge. Is this well, bl blinking light indicator on the handle of this thing Tell me how much battery you have left? Yeah, we're fine. Oh. It'll be okay. It doesn't look fine. It's like... It's one, but it, no, 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 it'll be fine. Mm. Oh! Son of a bitch! <laughs> no! I wanted my first kill! Dude, I popped out, I shotgunned him! And then I kill him! Oh. Uh. Alright, F to skip. Alright. Wait, oh. what's going on here? That's the gulag. Do I get a box, people? It's a gulag. Can can I I this, to... is, this is his bread and butter, baby. Can I try to get out? Yeah, you can. By boxing someone? I'm pretty sure you can punch your way out. No way. Get the chain in the Do I get back in? I think so. You're fucked, dude. Oh, fuck him up. Fuck him up. Am I back in or what? No, you're in a one on one. Or maybe it's a 2v2 gulag to get back in. Okay. Alright, I see him. I see him. Oh, ow! Oh, he got buck shanked. He got prison shanked. What does that mean? <laughs> this is Gulag 2v2. Death is brought to you by fans like... <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Um, oh, I'm redeploying. They, they just put you right back into it? Oh, because we won. My 2v2 won. Oh, his teammate. He <laughs> just absolutely took it to the next level. I feel like this isn't a good thing. I'm like, I'm deploying super late now, right? So like everyone's already gonna have weapons and stuff. No? Well, it's a redemption tour. Comeback tour. You're at the Zark. So if I, if I cut parachute right now, would I just die? I think you can like redeploy parachute an ungodly amount of times. I don't know. This is me just spitballing because I've oh. never played it. Hey! <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. It was, it was hearsay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, I want to get out of here. I don't want to watch these people. I don't care. Leave game. Right? Or no? Wow, double XP. Lucky double XP. Me. Look at how much he earned for dying. I did nothing. You're going to have to learn what all this stuff does. Because I don't know any of this stuff. Do you not play this? I haven't installed it, so no. Oh, we should play. Yeah, of course your first game would end with a swan dive. Okay. All right. Swan well, dive. rite of passage. I did it. Cool. Warzone Cup, never again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna exit to dash. What? Where? Here. Quit the desktop, yes. Okay. Alright. Glenn, thank you. Say goodbye to everyone. Tell them where to find you. Thank you, sir. We, we built it, we played it, it's happening. Now, tomorrow, we can actually play games that require some sort of GPU. Yeah. I'm um, so excited. I will be on Matt's Discord. I am Mr. Grokus. Uh, he not, also has his own Discord, which is awesome. I'm not. Repeating. I'm not looking for followers. I just want to help somebody install a graphics card. Want to hang out? <laughs> <laughs> He's a good friend. That's that's all it is. Um, Y'all, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for spending almost four hours with me doing Super Smash Bros. and 
boxing and building a PC. Now we're up and running. Tomorrow we'll have some more uh, like adapters and cords and all the things to be able to actually game. And that's that. Who's excited? We ready to actually game? Ready to play some real games that require real graphic cards? There we go. Vank86, thanks for thanks for the YouTube compliments. I'm, I'm literally just uploading like a bunch of old videos. That's, that's it so far. But I, I promise I'll put more effort into it. Elden Boy, that's me. All right, guys. Uh, Discord public. Is your Discord public? No. Uh, you don't. No, no. No. It is not public. I will be on Join the Movers Discord, Matt's and, Discord. and Grokus will be in the Movers Discord. I'll be on Matt's Discord. Yep. There we go. Guys, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. We're gaming tomorrow. We're, we're getting the GPU going. We're gaming during the day. I'm going out with Kendall at night. Cool? All right. Peace out. Love y'all. Look at these graphics. Oh. So oh.